What's up, guys? I am here with Alex, and he's been on vacation for like how long? Uh, two weeks. Two weeks in Thailand, and uh, basically now back in Bangkok. And you, normally, when you go to Thailand, you have to kind of come back to Bangkok to kind of get uh, back home. So. Uh, yeah, quite busy time this time and for, you know, I'm going to stop off here and see it actually finished because I've seen all the pictures, seen all the videos. Um, when I was here, it was a building site last time, so yeah, yeah, yeah it's looking yeah. a bit different. What are you wearing off? <laughs> yeah. All right, so uh, yeah, this is Alex's last day tomorrow and then he's going back around midnight. Had a great time. So where does your mic record from? Is it like, uh, have you got to set here or here? Or I don't right? think it matters. Really? I think it does. <laughs> really? Yeah. All right, you guys, can you guys hear us okay? Is it loud enough? Can you hear us? Because we are sharing a mic. So let me know in the comment. What's up, bro? Late night, late night chat. We're just having a beer and just chill. Hey, Thursday to you, Arn and Alex. How crazy is Alex to see Art's collection? Yeah, I mean, he just saw it like maybe like 10 I, I haven't stuff. really had had enough time to take it in. And literally, I arrived. Uh, we had some dinner, and then um, this is <laughs> this actually is how much if George is listening. Um, this is how much Art doesn't know me. Is um, we went out some dinner, and then he showed me to where I was going to stay, and then he goes, "Okay, and when you come down." Here's a golf cart. Yep. And this is how you use the golf cart. And you can drive it down to the front of the property. And I'm just like, yeah, this guy doesn't know me. He's giving me access to this <laughs> golf cart. Uh, hey, but you managed it. I, mean, I managed it. And I was actually, it was actually quite a lot of fun. It yeah. was actually really a really lot of fun. But better than walking. Yeah, much better. But then literally I arrived in here, just gone 10 o'clock, yeah. had a little walk around, we had a chat, and, and straight onto the live. So I'm still Kind of looking around, seeing pieces I haven't seen before. I just looked up, saw that Nightwing piece, which I'm not really excited yeah. about seeing. But I haven't seen it before. But, <laughs> you know, it's actually uh, one of my favorite from the Hush Line as well. Nearly got cancelled. Believe it or not, nearly got cancelled. Yeah, so, and yeah. They, well, they come out with a repaint now. The yeah, yeah. I mean, there so. was a whole thing about how it got a lot of stick, and then they kind of threw a little bit of a hissy fit and said, well. If you don't like it, then we're not going to release it. And then they waited a year or so and then released it anyway. But well, <laughs> I'm glad they did, though. So, uh, yeah, Alex been here maybe like almost two years ago and mm. nothing in the front was finished. So he didn't, he only saw my house. <laughs> There's no cafe, I mean, no restaurant. Yeah, nothing. Um, this weren't here. All right. Even the, um, uh, the reception, like where you're having the, the weddings that weren't there. Uh -huh. The gardens were there, the pond was there, um, and the house was just getting finished. Right. So, yeah. And to this day, it's not finished. <laughs> you can see from the room that you're in. Yeah, well, that is yeah, it's still better than some of the hotels I've been staying in. Oh, so. shit. <laughs> All right. Well, no. So, hey, what's up, Cameron? How you doing, Cameron? Yeah, we can be uh, talking about a couple of topics and then just whatever, you know what I mean? Hey, what's up, John? What's up, Aaron? All right, you can hear us. Great. Awesome. I sound low. All right, let me see. Alex, you getting uh, any inspiration here? <laughs> How you doing, Evan? <laughs> to be honest with you, it's, um, I actually quite like seeing this collection because this, these are things I don't collect at all. Um, I do not collect one third scale pieces and I'm not really a big DC collector. Okay. So for me, this is, this is a great opportunity to see a lot of these pieces. Normally I get that kind of fix from, um, like Dojo. Uh, -huh. uh unfortunately Dojo store's not there at the moment, so I haven't had that fix. Um, also you've got the, um, uh, Infinity Studios, Catwoman, uh, Life Size Bust. Uh, you then got the Queen Studios, Life Size Tom Holland. Mm -hmm. Uh, Vision, the, the, you know, the um, Thanos up there, Ben Affleck and the uh, Wonder Woman there. Don't you have a Cavell? Don't have a Henry Cavell? No. Okay. I, I'm getting a new one. Yeah. Yeah. The I don't like one, that one. The older one looks a bit smooth. It, I don't know. I just don't like, you know, I want to see the full suit. I don't, yeah. don't want to see like whatever yeah. he's wearing. But, um, but no, I mean, I like the way that these are pieces which 
I still need to I just seen the um, Black Widow I need to see up close because that got a lot of stick so I already just I'm still yeah putting it in. but no I guess I mean that these are pieces where I, I have no intention of buying but I, as a collector I always want to see them um, also another one going back to is the JND stuff you know they're getting mm -hmm. a lot of uh, stick yep um, it's quite funny <laughs> story about it, actually behind the scenes but uh i'm not sure i can go into that but so uh, maybe after a few more beers um <laughs> but right. you know i just seen the the bale batman and and uh and bruce wayne and then obviously the um the harley, quinn. harley quinn down there yeah and they, they look fantastic they right look really really good like like i said in my review before that you actually have to see them in person to appreciate it like i, I can imagine if i took i mean i take terrible photos <laughs> Uh, one of the things which um, I was quite impressed about, which we did speak about earlier on, is the um, uh, what's it, Patterson Batman. Okay. He From photographs Queen. really well. He, like, he videos really, really well, and he looks great on camera. Um, I can imagine that the the, the Bruce Wayne, um, uh, you know, JND, there's so many. Uh, colors in there because you've got like all the yeah, yeah, you get yeah. closer yeah. like all the purples and, and and all these other colors right. that you actually have to see it in daylight i think you would i think if you took certain pictures it would just distort it and look make it look like weird colors and i think yeah you have to see it with your eyes let me show you what else i took about like 10 million photos in that folder <laughs> so you normally take really good pictures right and um see, you see all the creases but i still think that you the face doesn't look right when you've done your picture really i don't think so no i think you take you take really good pictures but i think his likeness looks off in your picture <laughs> so if you put that out <laughs> I and people would go I you did know, put it out on art, my Instagram. Yeah, you, know, you did. But Art takes amazing photos, <laughs> and even his photos don't really look like him. Or maybe it's because it's a curved screen, and I'm looking at it at this angle. Yeah, but yeah. Um, I still think it's a bit no. off, considering that I've just looked at it in person. Okay. Yeah, I still think it's a bit distorted. All right. Yeah. Sorry to show you pictures. And <laughs> it's okay, man. <laughs> but this one, I mean, it has more shadow in the front, but. Yeah. You know, people don't know what we're looking at. Yeah, sure I know, I'm not. <laughs> so, but but you guys, if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you have seen my photo. <laughs> I'm just showing him the close up. All right. All right, moving on at some point. What is this? Oh, emojis. All right. Hey, Samuel, what's up, man? How are you doing, Samuel? I actually was in Kuwait, and um, they told me that a French review was turning up. Yeah. And then. Um, Giorgio told me that you were away at the same time. And I was like, oh, I'm going to see him in Kuwait. And you went ah, there, okay. you were somewhere else. But I've got to send you some stuff soon. I've got to send you some stuff. So we have to arrange uh, shipping. All right. <laughs> he gets a lot of stuff, man. Just a lot, he does, I want to see him in does a lot through um, the rift store as well. I love Florian at the rift store. Yeah. yeah, we talk. We talk a lot. Yep. Like, a couple months ago. Great to see you too, man. Are you guys working or what? Love to visit one day. You you're welcome here, Adrian. Anybody actually? I mean, I have He's a lot of people in, uh, that London, keep me up. Based in London, I think. Ah, okay. He's got a few um, a few of the busts. Uh, yeah. Got JMP stuff. I can't remember, but I know he's got a few quarter life size busts. I, I think he has a lot of JMP as well. Mm. Aaron, do you remember me? Aaron Mac. Yeah, of course, bro. You came to my place, <laughs> <laughs> like maybe last week or so. Yeah, your, your memory ain't that bad. <laughs> yeah, what's up, Aaron? The nice guy. Morning. Good morning. Good night here. It is about 11 o'clock over here. Jesse, day. how's it going? Andy, uh, which company do you think is producing the best statue in the market right now? In the market? Man, it's hard. I mean... Right now, like the most recent, I think JND does a really good job, like as you can see. But you know, but the price is quite high. So I think the price point, um, it's a bit they, they need to deliver for what they're about yeah. to have to pay. And then also, they're talking about the 
platinum line, which is right. even more expensive. Right. So they need to be up there as the yeah. You know, but I'm kind of surprised, standards. like how the edition size is kind of big. I don't know what their size It's like a thousand or so. Okay. For Wonder Woman. Yeah. So I mean, if it's going to be like really, you know, upscale, then it, you know, the ES should have been limited, so right? The th it's a thousand edition size for the platinum. One yeah. Model. I think. Okay. I okay. I could be wrong, but I I remember it was kind of yeah, high. Yeah. I'm not sure. I mean, I, I I do follow them, but you know, with the when they when they announced the platinum line. Um, I think that that's always going to be, because that, that was one of the things I did speak to uh, one of the guys over there. He's not one of the owners, but he's one of the mods. Um, okay. And I did say that, you know, with the idea of, of JND being so elite or high end, to then announce that you're going to be even more high end. Yeah, it's it, kind of hard to like. It's a really hard thing to <laughs> deliver. Um, and I don't think, I think his name's Daniel. I don't think he did a very good video uh, in, okay. in delivering it. All right. Um, I, I think I he came across the wrong way. I think he came across quite arrogant. Uh -huh. um, but, and, but then I, I do think that that message is very sensitive and you have to be, you, but, know, you have to really plan out how but you do you know it. how Korean guys but are. Isn't, um, right. Isn't he based in Texas? What? Or one of them based in Texas or something? I no, I don't think Am so. Am I talking rubbish? No, man. I think they're all from Korea. I think one of them based in Texas. Or really? I'm sure someone told me that the other day. I, there's a guy with a cap, and then there's a guy, a handsome guy with glasses. That's Daniel. I think Daniel. I'm sure they told me that one of them was based. Like you mean living in Texas? Yeah. yeah. Why would they pick someone in Texas to be the I don't know, face of the brand? Because he can he's the only one who can speak English or what? Well, because he's very articulate. The guy on the camera, I mean the guy who does the videos is very articulate, comes across very well. But I just think that when that was that video was delivered, um, I don't think it was delivered in the best way. Okay. All right. Uh Sub I need three? To find this video now. Heard this uh, comment. The best in the collection in game in one place and left. What's that? <laughs> nah, man. Bro. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. A lot of people think this gallery is bigger than it is, right? It's not that still, big. Still, I mean, like, considering this is your personal collection, yeah, it, and this isn't, you know, obviously you have the coffee shop, you have whatever else going on here. This is your, you set this up for your editing suite, didn't you? Or? Huh? So your office and your editing suite? Yeah, my, yeah, my yeah. office where I do YouTube and everything, basically. Yeah. So with that, I mean, if it's set up to be your office, it's it's a pretty nice size <laughs> just for an office. All right. I, I still think it's small. I mean... Well, <laughs> I guess it's all relative to what... I mean, like, I'm in the process of buying a house. Uh, this room, like, not nah. even taking into consideration the height. Yeah, don't this even room consider is it. like... You could fit maybe six or eight is the room I'm going to get in here. <laughs> what size of room do you have, man? It's like, very small one, just no, like a like small bedroom? Five and a half meters by three and a half meters. Okay. And that's a pretty big size for the UK. How big is this? Is this, this is like, seven this is by like, five. Well, no, 15 by seven. Seven by five. You went from, you, I'm, I'm, sorry, no, no, no. You I'm went from by one seven room. by five. <laughs> I'm going to, by oh, one room. So seven, it's seven by it's five. Oh, no, three it's room. 15 yeah. By. yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot to uh, count the rest. <laughs> okay. No, it's, I mean, it's all right. And then also your, your ceiling yeah. is about, what's that? About That's eight meters high. <laughs> Six, meters. Six meters. Yeah, exactly. So, like, I mean, it's all relative to what, you know, I mean, if you're, if you're comparing it to, I mean, Justin. The, the footprint is probably bigger than my whole house. <laughs> no, come on, man. I mean, what's your price? What's your price? Tony the Toy Rat. Love to hear you talking. Would love to see what you're seeing and oh, discussing. Wi -Fi, yeah. Oh, here. Let me put oh, good. Two best actor in collection game at the same place. <laughs> Two best actor, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, Yeah, bro. Hey, what's up, Jalen? I'm still trying to find that comment because I'm, I'm adamant. All right. 
Uh, this car is safe for someone who's from Texas. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not. That guy, Max, at Worlds Collide. Good to see. Thanks, man. Yeah, it's good to see Alex. And, um, you know, we, we didn't really talk much about statues. We just talked about whatever. Like, you know, during the, I yeah. mean, I picked him up from the airport twice. Yeah, twice now. So, I mean, um, he's basically here for vacation. So he didn't go to any statue shop no, and this time. nothing. I've yeah. done it before where uh, this is why I've been to Thailand probably 10 or so times. And um, I used to do it more to do with like where I would work, stop off because uh, I was going to Singapore for work. And then I'd stop off over and then I'd go to TK store. Um, I'd visit um, uh, Mike as well from Toilaxi and I'd visit um, uh, Dojo and uh, like loads of places. And also you've got like Mega Plaza. Yeah. You've got so many, so many uh, statue shops here. Right. And um, I've done this like, I think this is my third time with a, like a partner. And this is the, like a third time with a different partner. And each, <laughs> each time we normally go yeah. back and uh, yeah, I think we break up shortly after the Thailand trip. So, you know, I may be on the market again soon. <laughs> um, um, I'm, I've got this message now. So, uh, da, 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 no. Jonas asks, Alex, on a scale of one to ten, do you feel like you did great with XM on your interview? Which one? The the one with Ben? Uh, do you feel like you did great with your? Well, the um, Tell about Ben, <clears throat> the last one. If you're talking about my job interview to get a job, I didn't have one. Um, that was more of sitting over a coffee and discussing whatever and then being offered a job uh, out of the blue. Um, if you're talking about the videos with Ben, that wasn't intended as um, an interview to, to be filmed. And um, we we just sat down on the sofa, we're in the office. Um, the, the audio was recorded via my phone. And then I used um, Adobe AI to get the audio like actually usable which actually made it a bit robot because um we realized there was some actual good content to to put out there um but i had to cut quite a lot of it out because there was a lot of personal stuff in there which we couldn't discuss uh on count a lot of or, or, you know for youtube but um if you mean how good i thought those went not really good really uh because they weren't really intended to be like that so it was kind of we we filmed them with the idea that they may get used but not really with the idea they were going to get used if that makes sense and then once we did them, we filmed an hour and a hour and 40 minutes of us talking and then realized <laughs> there's some good stuff there. Uh -huh. but, out, yeah. but, but you decided to film it for the whole thing, right? I spoke to Ben at the beginning and I said, you know what, you know, these are the things I want to discuss with you. I had about 10 topics or whatever. Uh -huh. um, but one of those topics is really good, you know, that uh, the pricing thing, because yeah. a lot of people doesn't know like how much it does actually cost yeah i mean i, I again i um there's a lot of stuff that we couldn't really go into but basically we, yeah. we were in the the office uh Ben's office and we had like a, a huge huge spreadsheet i mean i i love um excel i love using spreadsheets but this one was probably like 60 columns wide and it was each every product and then it had everything to do with a cost along the journey of that product. Um, and some of the things that you see getting charged and how much you see getting charged for it. And then at the end of it, it has the, the um, cost, uh, the retail price. Um, and then it has the kind of markup percentage. And then it has the distributor price. And then it has like at the end of it, it will have based, so they, they'll base it upon, okay, we're gonna make 400 of these and this is what we can make the price based if there's 400 of these. Okay, yeah. And then with XM, some of them won't get 400. They'll get maybe 250 made. And then that will then obviously lower the profit and then it'll have a percentage at the end of how much the final profit percentage is. And some of those percentages are really low, really low on some of them. Uh, I was yeah. really, really surprised. Yeah. You know, you could. It doesn't seem like a lot of work because, you know, like the customs doesn't have that much work into it. But for like a big company, it's totally <sighs> different. Man. I mean, the. Not to take. You know, obviously take some away from it, but 
not to take a lot away from the custom guys, but they do, they, you know, there are some ridiculous custom pieces out there. There's a lot of absolute trash, a lot of absolute trash. But what you have to remember is that, you know, with the custom guys, there's very small overheads. Um, you know, the, there's no licensing costs, which licensing costs, you know, it can be a very, very, very high amount upfront as well. Especially you know. Marvel, right? And DC, yeah, yeah, yeah. and DC, yeah, awesome. yeah. It could be because I seem like DC, they're more easy going, I guess. I think they were. I think I think they were at one point. Um, but you know, I mean, we'll, we'll get on to it in a second. But yeah, so basically, like, you know, with, with all of the costings that are involved, the, the custom guys don't have that. They don't have twenty staff. XM have eighty staff, I think. Yeah. Now. They have their own factories. They have the, the, the distribution AB, chains. Is that in, including the factory as well? In fact, they have their own factory staff. Yeah, yeah. Th that's kind of small uh, for what they're doing. Really? No, no. Is it 18? Maybe a month more now. I don't know. But it's, it's still quite quite a number considering then when you factor in the, the cost of that product, you know, you, you have to oh, yeah, of course. cover that workforce. And then, for example, then you have to, if you are not selling stock and you're making stock you have to cover the the storage costs and yeah. you know shipping from china to singapore and then qc again it all comes out there's a lot of stuff yeah. but the sorry the other thing i was going to say um oh god where were we going with that uh there was something else i was going to cover with the um fuck i've lost it now <laughs> there was something else i was going to go on to as well with we talk about licensing costs. We talk about uh, that. Oh yeah, that was one of the things as well, which is I don't think people realize, but obviously with the kind of success of the Marvel and DC movies, mm -hmm. you know, you think well that makes it easier to sell, but but no. it also makes the licensing costs higher because the companies then have more, you know, there's more people wanting to make them, so there's more competition for that. So they go well, actually okay. now you're going to have to charge this much for licensing costs. So it goes up and up and up. Yeah. yeah and also the labor in china you would think is low but it, it's, it's been it's been good. going up like for the past what four or five years it just keep going up right yeah but then you also got the the thing that's been happening over the last three years which is COVID costs and right shipping costs going through the roof and it's always that problem as well with everything it's the same with like fuel um same with anything as, as soon as you start to pay those figures the factories know that the, the people are willing to pay, you know, so the, that the, the shipping companies know people are willing to pay that. So mm -hmm. then those prices don't come down to what they should come down to. You know, they're never going to be, I think it was like 3,000 USD for a, for a shipping container. It's never going to come back down to that. Again, you know. Well, a container, I think a it's container more was, that. No, a container was like oh. three grand. Oh, okay. now, now it's, it's like, like over 10 20, to 12 grand. Oh, it's over that, that much. Up. It's ridiculous. The amount that's gone up is, is absolutely ridiculous. So, yeah. yeah, it's obscene. All right. All right, what's up, Austin? You still up? McCoy Culture, what's up, bro? Munut Mupa, Swadikra, Fandikha. Cinematic Statue, Alex, what's up, man? How you doing? All right, Samuel said, each company have good and bad <clears throat> things, so it's hard to love only one. I love XM, JND, Prime, and Queen. For me, it's the major company in the market now. Yeah, yeah, they all they all doing pretty damn good job so far. Like, I think that every every company has a hit and every company has misses. You know, and I, I yeah. think that when you we talk about this quite a lot on our channel, and I think the best like collections are the ones where you you have a variety. So if you um, if you have like all Prime One. Uh -huh there's that style where it, it looks too same after a while but if you separate it and you have the prime one yeah. xm site so you don't have any such do i do oh, do i you? have one yeah the mark seven. Oh, okay okay yeah. i was just looking I just around like it because and, yeah i like it because the light. was that the one with the flame base yeah okay, okay but like that's the thing is like you know i think they're the best collections even if you have should we say a few customs in there, a few whatever. Mm -hmm. You have all these different styles. If you have like, again, 20 XM pieces, 20 sideshow pieces, whatever, it, it, 
it just doesn't it doesn't separate very well. And then when you have a little bit of this, a little bit of that, it, yeah, the variety. Makes but you also get to see the real um, production as well, and you can compare like which mm. you know company you like most as far as design details and all. I but think I mean you're quite fortunate as well, where you you get some prototypes to review, right? And then when you get the prototypes, so um, but, what pieces have you had the prototype and the actual production, and then you've got to compare them. I do. I have like basically all the DC classic. Okay. Those I uh, review the prototype like a year and a half ago. Yeah. And then when I get it, they made some changes on some stuff, which I think some of them the prototype was better. Yeah. Yeah. But I think like some of the team. color choices and stuff. I think as well with the prototypes is because they're painted more in house, a bit more touched up, and uh -huh. you know maybe they're better. But then also the material for the prototypes. Yeah. Well, XM does better. a the best prototypes, I think. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, I think so. Well, not the one that you get all broken up, but... Yeah, it's because some dickhead fucking packaging <laughs> badly, right? Yeah. But I'm just saying, like, <clears throat> it, like these four horsemen, the prototype, these can just easily be production. Yeah, I've seen those, and yeah. they, the um, the death is my favorite. Um, so going on to those, when I saw the uh, war in pictures, I'm like, holy fuck, it's amazing. And then I saw some of the others. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. As soon as I saw that death, I'm like, that's the best one, easily. For me, that one like tells the best story. I've said this a hundred times, but the way he's holding out yeah. the lantern and it's kind of like, you know, uh, you know, your time's up yeah. kind of thing. So not the lantern, is it? The hourglass. Yeah. Death you know, has uh, two switch out heads mm -hmm. and two switch out hand. I think for the um, the hands were shit that they switched out with. Your camera <laughs> not moved. They were there. Oh, oh, because I was I went like that. Oh, okay, okay. Shit. So I got go like that. All right, moving back. <laughs> no, no. Hey, no, I just sorry. I was like, whoa, whoa. But what about me? Um, <laughs> no, I, I think that the the hand choice for death, um, it should be him pointing. It should be like that. It should like be pointing. You. It's, it's like you, yeah, you, you know, your like time that. is up. What is he doing? He's just doing like like a weird like I don't know. You just hand out. You would never ever use it. You would never yeah, ever yeah, use yeah. that ever. You're right. So I gotta do it then. Yeah. <laughs> Derek, what's up? Infinity as well. Yes, they. I think they made the best bus in the business. Honestly, yeah. I mean, I, I am a fan of Queen Studio, but I think Infinity Bus are just next level. Yeah, that cat woman. I mean, like that's impressive. Yeah, you know? and uh, yeah, she she looks really nice. I mean the. Uh, as you say, though, there is a speckling on it, which you have to point out. But right, you know. But the, if I didn't tell you, would you notice it? Maybe if you I were mean, like actually looking for it. I think your lighting is a bit harsh, and it's quite. I, I really do. I, I oh, think yeah, your yeah. your lighting is like white, super white. <laughs> like it's hard. Well, I I feel like I have to because during the day, you have to compete with the light outside. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, because when I'm like looking at the um, yeah, well, uh, Harley Quinn's over uh -huh. there. I was like trying to focus and I'm getting like, you know, when you get those like purple floating spots going past, <laughs> I was getting that. Alex, so bright. you're just all bro. <laughs> yeah, maybe it could be, it could be glaucoma. <laughs> all right, Aaron You're the same age as me. You are the same age as me, aren't you? Yeah. You're born in 81. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 80, 80. 80, you're 80. just worse then. <laughs> uh, hey, Aaron asks, what is the best line to complete? Arkham or Dark Knight Metal? That's hard. I mean, it's totally different genre right, I mean, video game story, yeah. and comics you know and i mean i'm not i mean when i first started right i i tried to collect like the whole line like the samurai line i kind of went all out with Ooh. that and the dc classic and all that but like halfway to that you're like man there's no way you can actually try well, to i mean with uh with aaron's choices there though he looks like he's going more the prime one group and uh i would go with hush out of that, if, if you're going, if he's going like with Arkham and uh, Dark Knight, Hush, uh, Dark Knight Metal, uh, I'd probably one. Okay. I'd, I'd, I'd go with Hush, but I think uh, because it's more classic. Yeah, yeah, and I think that the well, the Superman, yeah, well, actually, just the Superman and Batman and, would do it for me. And I mean, like when people comes in here, they know nothing about the Dark Knight Metal line. Mm. They just kind of okay, cool, walk yeah. off. You know what I mean? Like you have to be really into the comics which yeah. i did read and i really like it but 
I feel like the line just have way so many characters. The problem and as well is the, the actual artworks, but shit. <clears throat> the actual artworks, like within what, from the, the comics, in the within comics? the metal stuff. If you look up um, the artwork for um, uh, that green dude, uh, I forgot his <laughs> name now. Uh, the green dude. Okay. What's his name? The green now, now I can't fucking remember. <laughs> oh my god. Uh <laughs> anyway, if you if you do the like, if right. you look up the um Green Lantern version and you look up the artwork, it's terrible. It's really bad. Well um, that's that, the cover that, though. The cover actually looks good. Like Well that's sculpted by uh, Jonathan Ryan. And the funny thing about that is um one of the pieces I shot on the most in my life it's is by him. Pop Culture Shock uh Luke Kang. And he sculpted Pop. that as well. Pop culture shock Liu Kang. But the funny thing was is like from um more combat and the funny thing was is he got in touch with me because i even done this thing where i said to people look if you send me like i did like i think it was like kickstart or some stupid thing about patreon <laughs> and i said if you cover my costs for this fucking statue i will literally take it out of the garden and shoot it with a pellet gun or I'll do something with it i'll burn it or do and then uh, he contacted me again you know i sculpted and there he goes oh hey bro blah blah and he started like small talk with me to see how it goes and in the end he was like you know that Liu kang i sculpted that and i go yeah i'm sorry about that bro but you know it fucking sucks <laughs> and then he sent me his art station okay and uh his work on that was really good oh dude i mean come on all render looks good no 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 but the thing was is um there was a um uh, must be either Monster Palooza or um, San Diego Comic Con 2014, I think it was. Okay. There was actually the statue there, and it looked amazing. It looked really good. And then, and then happened to it? Jerry Macaluso going, like, tried, tried to uh, update and do whatever, and he fucked up big time. <laughs> fucked up big time. All right. <laughs> so damned. Too... The damned? No. No, 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 no. Uh, Dawnbreaker. Dawnbreaker. Dawn yeah. Okay, the damn. <laughs> That's her, isn't it? Damned is her. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, shit. So, Aaron, I would go, like, if it's between Arkham or Dark Knight's Meadow, I go with Dark Knight's Meadow because Arkham is done. <laughs> I found the bases on the Arkham ones just too, too samey. They're all the same, basically. Yeah. 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 Cash, what's up, man? Good morning. How are you doing, buddy? Coleman, 22, amazing room. Thanks, man. Amazing dude. Kai Alex seems like a cool dude. He is. <laughs> I try, man. I try. <laughs> D flex one, two big balls, two big balls. Where did you, uh, where did you share it anyway? Because I should just share it on there. Um, it's on my Facebook page, and I haven't had a chance. I literally YouTube. went in, done, done whatever, and then uh, not had a chance. <laughs> hey, to... Stuart Murray. How's How you it doing, going? Stuart? The Superman guy. Yeah. Jesse Washington, random question for Alex. Do you know why some company use Velcro straps and other tape the boxes? Prime one is pretty high end, but they use tape like sideshow. Is it just cost saving thing? I think so. It's just cost savings. Yeah. And I actually do. I, I, I think, I mean, I've been collecting uh, over 10 years now. Um, the statues, I mean, obviously the bones, the uh -huh. busts or whatever was longer and like Marvel, I was at the McFarlane's figures and things before that. But I think that when I unboxed like an XM piece for the first time and uh, took out the box, it was like a solid cardboard box, took it out, got those straps, undid the straps. It gave a real like sense of like premium. Mm -hmm. And right. um, I think that like it also added to the, that kind of whole unboxing experience. Mm -hmm. and it's such like a cheap addition to add and i think all companies should do it because i hate like well i shall start doing it now with uh, the dark knight's return oh we didn't know that yeah they should have they should have done it years ago but yeah. uh you know i think it's something it's probably just costings but the thing is is i think that overall the savings on, on damages must make up for the oh costing. yeah you know must like, do. like from all the xm pieces i think i got receive one broken piece that's about it but I, I it's not from the shipper or anything so it, it was already damaged from the factory i think where did you share this where did you share this no my page oh no no that's your that was your page 
hot statue collector, man. Oh, uh, well, look at your personal one. <laughs> All right, art, your showroom is probably more bigger size than a statue shop. <laughs> It is. I mean, I've been to like loads of shops. No, no, no. And no, no, this no, is no. bigger than, yeah. No way. I Toys King is bigger, no, man. but you're talking about places in Thailand because you guys have got more yeah, space. Toys King. Yes. You're talking about places in Thailand is what I just said. Oh, okay. If you're talking but, about places in like, um, well, where else? Where, of course, you're talking like, about like US? Well, I mean, like, uh, where are the places I've seen? There's, there's no statue shops in London. In London, there's none. None that's dedicated to this. There's like, we have Forbidden Planet, which um, you can get a few like Diamond Selects and a few Iron Studios and whatever yeah, it's else. It's not that popular, that's why um, it's not worth it. Oh, did you do it as a live one here? Not as yeah, a, yeah, both. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, da, da, da. Well, thanks, Andy. Uh, what is this? Raj? I, I can't. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Aussie guy, isn't he? Uh, Rogers uh, Rocks. Rogers. How you doing, man? Yep. Good to see you, buddy. Been off, been, been off for a while, so I haven't seen you for a little while. We should be back, hopefully, in the next week or so. Jesse said, I thought it was great, man. Like, the cost and impression were really good in particular. Uh, I think he's talking about your video with Ben. Oh, yes. I, uh, I thought it was great. Uh, the cost and QA, but yeah. Again, it was it was something which um, it wasn't like planned, and I didn't have. I, I I literally had like five minutes to to sketch down some questions, and then I thought like, oh, we might even use these, and then you had this like little fucking water fountain going in the background. And uh, <laughs> wait, they have what if that's his house? No, it was in um, it was in the in the XM gallery. They have, they have a waterfall in the front. right? No, no, no. It's, it was like. Um, not like a proper wall fan, like, okay, okay, okay. like a little like, zen, like a little okay, zen okay, thing okay, going okay. on. Um, <laughs> so why and did I, you just tell me to turn that shit off? Because <laughs> I, I, I didn't know I was going to use it. It was just like, the, the, so the recording was like, you know, shit because of that. Um, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> All right, Vampire Laugh. Just tuning in now, but what do you guys think about Sideshow's new approach? Less statues? You mean less ES, right? And now a short window with a small ES. Excited for the new Penguin review. You've seen it, right? The, the Penguin? Well, the Penguin actually looks Yeah, looks it looks impressive. really damn good. And I think it's, but I do think there's something where it, it should have been done like a long uh, time yeah, ago. Yeah, for real. So, uh, <laughs> and, I, and I do think that, you know, the Poison Ivy was a real surprise. Uh, that was a massive surprise for that to be 250 edition size, was it? Right. Um, but I do think that the Joker was trying to jump on the back, like a piggyback on the Poison Ivy, where it was more the fact that no one fucking likes it because it's shit. It's, it looks horrible. And I think that they wasn't selling. That went up for sale like three, four months ago. And basically they're like, right now this is a 600 edition size. You know, trying to get it to sell, jump on like, because Poison Ivy sell that right. quickly. Get a four more going. Yeah, I, I think it's, I think that that Joker is a horrible piece. I don't think it works for me. I think the original um, Joker is my favorite out of the ones I've done. If, if there's any Joker anyway, it's that Lee Bahamut one that you have. Anyway, the whole Prime one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That yeah. Is there's the that, there's no so comment. There, that face for that. But that yeah, I think but. Sideshow is going the right way if they start making um, their product more collectibles than before. It, it might pick up, you know, the market a little bit. I don't know whether that's the, um, you know, they, they've they've often stated that that's not their goal to be that way anymore. And they, they announced that like five years ago, maybe you know, four years ago, whenever they said that, you know, they want these things to be uh, accessible to people. They want it to be that, you know, people can um, pick them up if they need to, and it'll be at a cost that they can afford. Yeah. If but, you um, if you're going to start making things at a 250 edition size, the price is going to have to go up to to make it feasible. You can't you can't afford to do that, especially right. as a company as big as Sideshow. So, well, there'll be there'll be um, 
there'll be like, what, was she was she skin color? The IV poison IV. I think it was the skin color. All right, there'll be a green one. There'll be a green there'll variant. Be a, there'll be a 400, green. One out of two fifty. There'll be a green variant, and she'll be at least at one fifty. Hmm. You know, or you know. That, but here's the thing, though. Like, if they were to uh, make two thousand of it, yeah, and it's accessible for everybody to get it at any time, and nobody fucking pre-order it, yeah, that's a fail, right? It is, but then um, Sideshow is a big enough business where they're making most of the money now for distribution. They're selling other people's products, and they are what's the word like subletting licenses to other people. So okay. just, then yeah. they distribute their products. Okay. They get so them, you know. They're making so they money make, elsewhere. They so. make money. They make most of their money now from distribution. So they don't really care about leasing out the licenses or whatever they want to call it. They're like a collaboration. So like, okay, uh, we'll collaborate with your company. You can make a Spider Man and a Carnage or whatever, but we have to distribute it okay. and we get the forty percent of that. You know what? You know whichever way you're looking. So that's the way that they make a lot of their money now. But then to make these low edition sizes i don't think that's in their business model i really don't i think I, i'm very surprised that they've done it or maybe they've maybe done they it just want to try it out maybe they've done it as a way where because people okay, a lot of people shit uh, on them <laughs> for a long <yeah>. time <laughs> maybe it's something where i don't know they're at the end of a line and they're trying to like look at how to review a line but they need to get something out quickly i don't know i don't know there but they're, they're, they 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 have a board, you know, they have a board of members. They, they've got a plan. They've got a plan for it, you know. What's up, Rashid? Good morning over there. Mutant X Corp. What's up, man? Coleman 22. Disney should acquire XM. They do. No, no, no. They're talking about Disney buying XM, aren't they? What? Should acquire X... What? I mean, acquire you mean Disney should Disney buy should buy XM? XM. Why? <laughs> Why? Oh yeah, but then, uh, then Disney won't be able to make. So XM won't be able to make uh, DC <laughs> pieces and others. Casual. <laughs> hey, what's up, Steve? Beard game strong with Alex today, huh? <laughs> Have to step up, <laughs> dude. I can't grow a beard. Yeah, this is like um, <laughs> I've been like quite lazy and I've been kind of traveling around and it's getting quite long. And my hair's actually getting quite long as well. It's like if I brushed it forward, it comes down to about here now. You, you want to be a caveman? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, yeah. what's up, Mercy? How's it going, man? How's it going? How's it going? Mercy, Mercy is from uh, Sweden. Oh yeah. Hey, hey. Yeah, he's. Hey, uh, He has a lot of collection. Hemodu in the box. Yeah. <laughs> is it Hemodu? I have no idea, bro. A Swedish. Yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? I can say like I can say a few Swedish sentences. I can say. Uh, Don't ask me. I have no idea. Tensa from Europa. What? Means dance from monkey. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Thought I missed the live, but I'm homesick. Get well soon. Yeah, get well soon, bro. Mm. Get well soon, Terry. <laughs> All right, guys, say what's up. So it actually feels like um, the four. It feels really. Line. It feels really weird not having to do all the comments and not having to look at it. Yeah. <laughs> it feels strange because I'm well, I'm the one who does it like yeah right. But time. GTO just <laughs> he just sits right? back and then yeah. complains about me right. and then yeah, so yeah. it's your vacation so I'm doing everything it's all good. Hey Gio, what's up with you? Yeah, <laughs> what's the pup doing? Buddy? There you go. Yeah, I oh, knew he shit. knew he'd be in to insult me at some point. Here we go, Brian. What's up, Brian man? Wong? Yo yo, congratulations, man. Yeah, at number baby, right? number four. Really? Is that number four? God, man, you need to get the snip, brother. <laughs> you need to get this. You need to slow Basically, down. Basically, uh, Alex asked, "You meant to have it? <laughs> huh? Did you mean to have it? <laughs> Was it planned?" No. Uh, <coughs> Brian's He's awesome, right? Brian's like from uh, Module Space. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yoda toy. I miss art statue, like the statue review. Yes. Um, like his thing, right? Like I said, I'm not a real YouTuber. <laughs> So I'm not trying to make all the contents while I'm waiting for statue or whatever. If I have some new statue coming in that I think is interesting enough, then I'll do a review for it. Um, the one that I'm editing right now is the Prime One Dark Side and Queen Studio Dark Side comparison. So that's still in the work. It also, he's got a, he's got a box in his house. Yeah, from the big in, ass from box in from, studios. Yeah, it's and, in uh, or in. 
Ian, maybe? Ian. Ian, Ian, Ian Studios. A-I-N Studios. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do the unboxing and review for that as well. But I'm just lazy right now. Yeah, I, mean, I need some help. You're going to so. need to get your, your workers to put it together. No, I no, literally, no, no, no. Um, I took the box and he said, oh, yeah, it's, it's a big box. I was like, oh, yeah. I went like that to sort of tilt it up. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, pretty heavy. Yeah, it took <laughs> four people to move that thing. Man. Yeah, it's really hard. Oh, shit. Also, I want to tell you the actual true story about art statue collector and about why he's not actually putting out the reviews. What happened was he started doing the reviews and then he realized how much fucking work it is and how unrewarding it can be. Right, <laughs> and man. he's like, you know what, guys, this, is, this, yeah. ain't, this ain't worth it. This ain't worth it. Well, when I start doing it, I, I just want to <laughs> do it for fun, right? Or the hobby, because I, 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 want, I love doing that cinematic yeah. that I do in my review, just to make it look cool, whatever. That but, takes uh, a long time. Yeah, yeah, yep. exactly. That shit takes a long time. Even the editing while I'm doing, like, it takes a whole day yeah. for filming. Well, that's, I mean, but, we don't edit as much as obviously you do, but right. when we when when I'm filming it, I'll like I'll put like another camera over here, I'll do something, uh -huh. and then, so and different then, angles, and then George will start be going like, "You stop fucking around! Can we just fucking do this? Can we get it done? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing now? Oh, can you stop?" And I'm just like, "Dude, I've got like, no, just put this there, just do that." And I'm like, "No, I've got to edit. Wait, 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 you know." Yeah, yeah. you gotta have patience. It, it kills my creativity <laughs> <because> sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, man. Uh, but you know, like uh, like Mr. X, he does like jump cut, everything. Oh God, I hate jump cuts. Yeah, I, I don't absolutely do that. You don't hate see, jump you don't cuts. You don't see that shit on my on my yeah, video. Yeah, yeah. Like I don't. I might have it. to film like five different times for my. Uh, I can't do them. intro I, just to make it perfect. I can't. I, I mean, okay. we don't we don't perfectly. I don't perfectly edit things, but I can't do jump cuts. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't. Uh, do yeah, I, I hate that, man. So I I have to be. I I don't. I'm not a like. What do you call it? Like, have to be perfect. Hit me again, boy. <laughs> no, I know what you mean. Is like, but I'm the same. I, I like, I put, I put it out, and I'm like there, and I have to kind of. Yeah, they're so easy not to have a jump cut. You just like you stick a picture over it, or you do something. You know, you just don't need to have that jump cut there. And uh, yeah, it bothers the hell out of me. <laughs> I think it's also because when I was younger, I studied film and I studied stuff like that. Yeah. So I studied it. So for me. Unless you're doing some old, is it a French noir or something like that, where they have that purpose, like the cut's purpose. Yeah. There's no point. I can't do it either. I, I need everything to be smooth or like presentable, basically. Otherwise, I'm not going to do it. And it's kind of funny because, you know, TK is the one who asked me, hey, you want to do the review? That was um, the XM Penguin Samurai. Oh, yeah. The prototype. So, yeah, so I, I started off with that. Yeah. And then it was shitty, man. But do you find though, like, because um, I found this recently, where um, well, I do some, I do work for XM, I do like consultancy for XM at the moment, and they sent me um, six prototypes, and they went through another party, and they turned up fucked, basically, and destroyed. Yeah. The boxes were they were in a bad way, and um, you know that those pieces are here now in Thailand. Yeah, I sent them. Oh, yeah. But um, I told you worse than what you got. <laughs> the, the thing is, is I told XM that they're in a bad condition, and there's no point sending them to anyone else. And they go, "Here's the address, send it there." I'm like, yeah, because uh, they know TK can fix it. Yeah, but you shouldn't. Anyway, I, I can't go into that now. But <laughs> the thing is that they turned up to me, and I, 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 I said to them, "I don't want any more." Because the, the thing is, is like, first of all, there's so many elements of these reviews which I don't like um, and I've told them this and I said firstly you're asking reviewers to review prototypes mm -hmm. this is not what people are going to be getting secondly um, you know these are going to be packaged in your prototype packaging yeah they're going to arrive with damage you're expecting reviewers to, re to, to repair them you're expecting then reviewers to say okay this piece arrived broken. But I know XM will package it better in future. So you're the, there's so yeah, many yeah. elements. Oh, this is a prototype paint. Um, it should be like this or better when it comes through. You, uh, you know, this is engineered in this way. Maybe it's not right now, but it should be better in future. And there's so many assumptions that you're you're expecting these reviews to make. And I said I don't feel comfortable doing it. I filmed. Um, 
five reviews. I think I put the Dawnbreaker where I bitched about Batman Statue Collector because he packaged them really badly. And there's no excuse in the way he did it. He said, this is how I received it. I was like, well, you, know, you are a reviewer. You know how things should be sent. And if you're packaging it that way, you are either dumb as fuck or <laughs> you're playing dumb. You know, you're just like, you know, there's no, no way around this that you can't get away from. Anyway, so, you know, he... <laughs> So basically, yeah, it was a, the whole thing was totally unpleasant. And uh, even That's speaking it. to George, and he's like, fuck this shit. You know, I'm not coming over to your house, reviewing this stuff. And it's, it's just a whole unpleasant experience. It's just not nice. That's and it. I just think that, you know, for yourself, I mean, if you're being told, review this, review this, review this, review this, you don't work for them. How pleasant is that experience? I think I got used to it. That's why. Why? I don't know, but because that's what I got like in the beginning. It was all basically yeah. prototype. I I didn't get to review any of my pieces in my at, at a condo. It was started with the XM prototype, and then after that, they sent me like ten more. Okay. At the same time, so all I did was review the prototype. Yeah. And I just review exactly how I see it. Yeah. That's that's all. Yeah. But again, it's like I'm sure you've had to repair pieces. Hardly. Like really? some, yeah. Okay. Like um, maybe I just had a really bad experience. Yeah, because I think of, you uh, did because because from China to here is actually a lot closer. Yeah, yeah. And they well, also you got you got TK as well. Yeah, so right, TK, right. so TK, yeah, when yeah. it arrives to him, he does he his. Check, well, that's his container. Yeah, he does. And he also check it first as well, mostly. Yeah. yeah. Mm. If it breaks, he just fix it. Or, but now if it breaks, I fix it. Sure. Yeah. You know, but it's also as well when much. you open when you open the box. It literally looks like you're living in a fucking slow shaker. Actually, it's the amount of polystyrene right, that goes right, everywhere. Right. <laughs> they actually do a better job now, like on the four horsemen. Okay. They actually cut out like the exact yeah, yeah, space yeah. for it. The Not just the, like in one uh, box wrapping. The only one that was acceptable was the um, uh, the one that goes with that, the one eye joker. That was acceptable. That was actually the, the, the white, white, white knight. knight? White knight mm -hmm. joker okay. was acceptable. The, the actual that one did I send that one did I send that one to TK I can't remember no we had that one before oh okay I can't remember what I left in my house but th that one was the only one that had no damage and when you took it out of the box it, everything fit perfectly that was the only one and okay. other than that it was just it was a nice experience yeah really <laughs> but, I, I haven't had the bad experience on yeah. the prototype as much as you did no, 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 no. Yeah. And I think it's quite warranted to be as annoyed as I, as I was with it, to be honest with you, because it was a lot of work. And I've still got like three or four massive boxes in my one bedroom apartment. Still got them now. They've been there for like like eight months. You mean to wait for to, them to, to go off to, uh, to go off to Virtual Devil? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Because he's right, been a whole game. All right, Samuel. <laughs> we haven't get that. Samuel, get just sort this shit out, man. Rob Stell, what's up? <laughs> How you doing? Night. How's it going, man? Miguel, Joe, Alex. Top three of the statue that surround you <laughs> in that paradise. Top three of my in my collection. In yeah, world. I mean, in all in all fairness, I haven't had a chance to kind of like absorb <laughs> um, a lot of these pieces. Um, that you see the camera? Yeah, you can. Your your head's in the way, but. That Hulkbuster is is absolutely epic, but that scaling is is totally <laughs> obscene. If that is meant to be core scale, um, it's, it's crazy. That that's a one third scale piece. No, 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 no way around it. Uh, but it is it is a really really epic piece. The legendary beast, um, the legendary beast Hulks are really really nice. Um, that Thanos bust is ridiculous. Um, I still love that Ben Affleck bust. And I, I said that that's one of the only movie um, likeness buffs I would go for because of the fact that it covers enough of his face to kind of get around. Um, what I'm trying to sort of take, take in, like, I, I, I'll probably say it. And then I also don't think that the Prime one, um, auto, what's it called? That, that auto, uh, Neo Automator, I don't think that's worth that money. Um, 
but God, top three, it's really hard. <laughs> it's really hard, and I'm a sort of person still on the fence anyway. Also, I've got to point out, I'm not really a big movie Transformer fan, so that jet thing, as jet wing. Top, that gets, that gets totally good. looked over. Okay. Um, I do think that the, we spoke about this earlier, the uh, Justice Buster okay. and the War Tank, War Tank wins better. that. Yeah. Uh, God, I'm trying to really narrow it. I do really like the the black the guy there, the black uh, uh, dark knight. Grim knight. Grim knight. Sorry, I was calling you the black knight. <laughs> um, three, three. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm going to make a decision now. Um, I'm going to go legendary beast Hulk. Um, that Thanos okay. bust just for sheer fucking centerpiece wellness, and then I'm probably going to go. so hard <laughs> I'm gonna go uh... ah fuck <laughs> I can't do that because they fucked the scale um, <laughs> the Hulk Master? I'm gonna go with the, the medieval versus okay. the dragon joker right. okay. yeah. yeah okay yeah All that's right. what I'm gonna so go you got with it. there you are but I do, uh, I do actually think that that Hulkbuster, if you have it the way that Art took his pictures with the um, legendary beast Hulk, um, Hulk yeah. they pair off so fucking well. Does the scales yeah, so. are, are really good? Sure. Um, I'm, I'm going to walk over there and go. Oh yeah, I missed that one. What? What's behind there? No, I'm saying I'm going to mark one. Okay, that's half scale. No. Yeah. Okay, I but think... you're more in the uh, comics, especially uh, Marvel, and it. I am, I am. Yeah, I mean, I'm normally more into the Marvel stuff, but yeah. I mean, I can appreciate. I mean, obviously, if I was into Marvel stuff, I'd go well. You know, Hulkbuster or War Tank or whatever. Right. I actually, I, I had a good look at like the War Tank and the Hulkbuster, and I know that like a lot of people will go well. The uh, Hulkbuster is a better piece. Um, I do think there's a more iconic character. Yeah. But when you have them side by side and you see the actual work, um, right. the the war tank work that's gone into that is ridiculous. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, and but, you, can, you can see the evolution as well right. of like, even when you look at the, um, uh, the, the, the pavement, the pavement, yeah, you can see like, yeah, it's better, it's it's better detail. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it's, yeah, you can see that. Obviously, that's five years later and you can yeah. see those. The color is kind of monotone throughout. Yeah, that's why. Like when of you course. put it next to the Hulkbuster, the Hulkbuster mm. kind of steal the show because of the yeah, yeah, because it pops, yeah. yeah, pops for sure. Edwin no. Diaz, what's up, bro? How you doing, Mr. Man. Capital himself? There you go. Only he only writes in capitals, <laughs> and then someone's actually done. Uh, <laughs> there you go. How you doing, man? Because there's actually two Edwin Diaz's. You know that. What? There's two Edwin Diaz's. And the only way you tell the difference is by like one of them's got a picture, right? And if you look at right. him really quickly, he looks like Tony Ferguson. If you look at him really, really quickly, well, I don't think the other Edwin watches my show, so I maybe know. Alex rocking the Kratos. Beard. How you doing? <laughs> yeah, nice. I actually did shave. Um, I shaved my hair and uh, had a beard, but it just Do you know me, who you look like. It made me look weird. Do you know who you look like. You can say Max that. Kellerman. Don't know who that is. The uh, ESPN Sport an Analysis. Don't know who that is at all. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> yeah, you look just like it. Bro. Is it good or bad? Is, yeah, is, is he handsome? Yeah. If he's handsome, I'll take it. Sure. <laughs> What's up? Rock City Arkham. How you doing? Selena, how's it going? How you doing? From Serbia. I hope you're getting. No idea um, you live in Serbia. I hope you're getting a lot of sleep. Uh, I just had a, a baby about. Uh, three, three months ago, two months ago. Really? Yeah. Never realized like, how much Alex looked like CM Punk. Nah, <laughs> come on. <laughs> I don't think so, man. Did he get <laughs> fucked up in UFC badly? <laughs> didn't he? Yeah. I would love to see him really release of Dark Side, Dark Side Rebirth in one fourth by XM. Right? I have the one six. Actually, is that good? Yeah. Is it's, that good? Um, that I bought the one six. It is it's a really nice piece. Yeah. It is actually a really, really nice piece. So I the think job and everything. Excellent, done a fantastic a, job on that. Yeah. Like a lot of that one six scales, 
I'm pretty freaking great, man. Brian Wong, what's up? It's a lot of Brian up in here. Yo, yo, brothers. Oh, we both mine one for to be great. Jeez. Oh, shit. The super sticker. <laughs> thanks, man. <laughs> How you doing, man? Brian Wong, thanks a lot. We need to get in touch when. Uh, well, I said I'm in the process of buying a new place. I mean, it ain't going to be as big as this to fill, but I'm going to get in touch with Brian Wong about about getting it all out. Okay. Getting all the module cases all there. Yeah. Cool. How you doing? Happy JCG. Good to see you, man. What's up, man? Jonas, what's the whole up on Maestro? I have no idea. It's supposed to be shipping in it's the supposed to be shipping, um, in the first quarter, right? What we know. Like, should uh, be soon, man. Like maybe uh, in a month or two. One more one month for me now, March. Yeah. I think it's at the end of this month. Yeah, 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 Some, yeah, yeah, yeah. something like that. It should be pretty soon. But um, right, also, if you if you're getting that delivered, yeah, the uh, delivery cost is going to be yeah. healthy. And then also make sure when you're assembling it, you bring a few friends. Oh hell yeah! Have a big breakfast because it's uh, going to take this whole display right here. <laughs> this yeah. whole display is for him. Yeah, so yeah. everything else going to get off. <laughs> it's a really really impressive piece. I mean, I've have you tried to lift it? I tried to lift the um, the base, just the top of the body, um, because it looked like it wasn't in line properly. Okay, and I went like that, so like, it didn't move. And I was just like, <laughs> I'm not going to touch what it. What the fuck? Because uh, I, I was really worried as well, because it's on like um, on turn turn turntable. turntable, yeah. And then also you got like all this kind of shit leaning against it, so you got the, uh, the trident uh -huh. and um, the surfer board and stuff. So when I started moving it, and it didn't move, and then. I think like I think it was the old before hammer moved, and then something else moved, and I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm not gonna try that. And then yeah, yeah because I think like when it's really heavy and to sit there for a long time, you can't, you know, it kind of stick. Yeah, but they glue all their prototypes and stuff like that, so I, I think that as well. Really, and they have glued some stuff on it. That's why I'm, that's okay. what I'm sticking to. That's why I couldn't move it. Ah. <laughs> but also, they they had it on the um, prototype where um, the parts that go around the throne and they and you rest the pieces on mm -hmm. they had a, they had one going across the back okay and they took that off because it was like 15 kilos so she's not needing man. to be there really God. your buddy pl experience how you <laughs> doing man hope you're good buddy needs an original art statue in his collection house <laughs> of god <laughs> yeah there's a house of god going over there uh him and uh Hirg, um Mortez, Mortez? And uh, yeah, they they started up House of Gog, and oh, okay. uh, they got some really, really, really nice pieces uh, they do with uh, Pascal Blanchet. And I, I know I'm totally butchering all of your names, but I don't fucking care. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, yeah, I've seen. Uh, I haven't seen one in person, but I've seen pictures. The um, Moonstone, like it's it's one of those pieces where when you see it in in photos. Um, it almost looks like like it's really been vibrant, photoshopped, right? and um, it was like the first before I saw it in hand, I was a bit like, people are fucking with that saturation, people are doing this and that, and I got it in and I took pictures and it looked the same. And I'm like, yeah, it's okay. really, really is actually really like that, you know? Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's but really nice. Only in photos, but when no, you no, see no, it. in person as well. The, the oh, okay. this it's 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 like um, it's something that when you like it, try and explain it. People are like, okay. they use different it sounds, paint, it, right? it sounds quite basic because it's like, um, she's only made up of, I don't know, say like a tur turquoise, um, orange, um, and then you know, a few other shades, but then like, it, it, it looks absolutely fantastic, but it's like, you know, but you try to explain it to people, especially with my limited, um, that's a cabinet dark. No, 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 but it, it looks like it could. Yeah. It's great. It was really, really well done. I've got the um, the three of them, and um, I have one of the um, uh, one twenty module cases, module spaces now. So I'm going to change the name, and I'm planning on putting the three of them in one, and then having them so they have like a background of the kind of like the world they're from, like the derelict planet. So yeah, I'm planning on having them as part of that. Two of my favorite statue mm -hmm. channels together chatting. <laughs> the old guy. Check him out. Uh, Happy JCG does some really, really good art. Uh, he started off doing loads of little stuff where he, like, he draws, draws little circles. 
uh, then kind of like um, okay, it's hard. It's hard. Again, I can't I'm not really bad at explaining things, but he, he draws like a circle and like to shade it. Over, right? No, so like, he'll like have a, an area that he needs shade. He'll draw like a big circle and all circles, and then uh, he does a little Marvel uh, sort of like a oh, comic cool. book um, uh, canvases out. as well, and then he sells the actual prints yeah. okay. of them as well. All right, so, cool. So if stuff. you guys want to check his artwork out, happy JCG art. We'll check that out. <laughs> Mr. Caps. Jimmy, what's up, man? How you doing? God like statue Jimmy. They do some fantastic women. Hey, Warren, what's up? Back to work. Catch the rerun. All right, bro. Have you seen those uh, those those things from uh, uh from Jimmy? The um the, the females that he does. No. The um, uh, poison you, ivy. Oh, you're talking about the repaint? Or no, 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 a fan art piece. He done a no, poison, no, no, poison no. ivy, and uh, it's ridiculous. That great, huh? it's, ridic it's, it's one of the nicest female statues out there. Right? Would love to see how some piece well. in art statue collector, <laughs> maybe, but uh, you know, like I said. I do only collect DC and Marvel, but I'm not trying to like, it's like rare for me to go out to get something else that's not in theme. Like some video game piece, like, you know, that piece. <laughs> and the Four Horsemen, I really like, but I just still, again, try to stay in theme because I want to get dangerous. Yeah. Otherwise, if all you over the place. Room. You say you got very limited space. Yeah, but I mean, I'm sure you could make a, no a lot of. Uh, no, I can't. You can get a second floor in there. No, you get like no, a no, no. That was the plan in the beginning. Platform Listen, up there. That, like that was the plan in the beginning. A lot of mezzanine going on up there. I know it's not then, going to work. <laughs> really? Yeah, because up top it's going to be very low on the side. Okay. It's going to look. Uh, nah, it's really hard, man. There, and the nice. stair. Takes up a whole lot more space as well. Mm, spirals, ah, yeah. How the hell am I supposed to take the statue up there? <laughs> All right, no, you don't, because there's an open thing there. <laughs> what is going get like, get <laughs> Oh, my God. Don't forget White Knight when you count top, top three. He's actually on my. Top yeah, I mean. Five, yeah. I believe. Yeah. Well, like. I'm not really a big DC fan. That's the thing. Yeah, I mean, he, like, he's a Marvel White fan. Knight. I mean, the thing that is really, really good about the White Knight is the way that the, um, you know, the very team unique. actually took the White Knight, and you don't actually display it with all the right the actual sides open because the way you display it is actually based on the comic, mm -hmm. and um, the team. I think it was James Khan, James Kane. He basically they they did that. Like, it might be Martin still. Uh, but they they, they, they design the all the inside the you take off and you see all the engine parts and yeah, that is absolutely cool. amazing um i can't remember the artist though who's the artist from the cover don't ask me man oh, fuck. yeah I'm, I'm really bad with names but the artist from the cover i mean he he even improved a bit all you know so yeah really good i again i mean even that that harley quinn by prime one um that arkham one over uh -huh. there that's arkham really city nice. That's really nice. Yep. And yeah. it made me actually to to see that in person. Um made me really happy that we actually gave that an award. You know, I actually really yeah kind of cemented that when I saw it in person. It was like, yep, I totally deserved it. Totally deserved it. Um I think that's quite underrated, that Dark Knight one you have on the top. Uh yeah. I do like it, but I just don't like the color on the face. You know, like on the base. Yeah, that. Or the oxidization. Or, yeah. Okay. It's a little bit too almost exaggerated. Okay. Exaggerated. Yeah. But so even the, and also then fake. the uh, the Queen Studios Wonder Woman you got hidden up there. Yeah. I think we gave that one an award like last year, maybe. But yeah, it's a really nice piece of it. Yeah, but um, the portrait, like um, the unmasked, the unhelmet portrait is not really? that good. Okay. Have you seen it? No. No. I mean, I can't see it because it's about fucking 10 meters up oh, on the ground. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think the other one would look good if you stuck it up there on that shelf. <laughs> He's got his little drawers underneath, which he keeps all the heads in, which is actually quite a good idea. He's 
to get some comments going. Come on then. How you doing, Morton Chunky? Good to see you, buddy. Uh, we'd love to see how it's going. Okay, we're going back over these ones. Uh, <laughs> Titans. Chris Harris, how you doing, man? That looks good on the camera. It looks on the fucking camera. It looks really good on look camera. Look at it. Honestly, <laughs> look at it. I was looking at it. I was like, what the fuck? I mean, it's okay, but it's not a great. I think it's. Right? It looks kind of weird. It looks like. It looks good. But it looks like. Um, I think what they've done is you see where they've got the, um, the blusher. It makes her cheeks look like she's a bit. Like she's too skinny. Mm. I think that's what it is. So the blush is too much. So if you've got that painted. And you tone down that blusher, it would look better. Okay. I think the blusher makes it look a bit gaunt. No? I don't know, man. But I don't have a problem with it, but that yeah. one is on point. I think that that looks good, but again, it just looks, it makes her face look a bit drawn out when she's with that blusher. Uh, Alex or Art, do you feel XM live up to their delivery dates? Uh, that they say the statues uh, should be released. I think like a lot of statue companies, you know, they try to aim obviously towards their, their delivery dates. I think XM have been quite very, very good lately. Um, they invested a lot of money into basically uh, cutting, cutting the times down. Even um, companies like Figurama uh, and a few others, they, they've cut their times down quite a lot in the newer pieces. But unfortunately, some of the older pieces before uh, the changes have kind of taken place, you're going to spoke, really. Uh, before the changes have kind of taken place, they kind of like, you know, there's still going to be delays on that, which I know a lot of people can't really have them because it's like, well, I ordered this before that and this is coming out after. But it's to do with the agreements with the factories, unfortunately. But I do think that the newer piece delivery dates are um, a lot faster than the old ones, for sure, 100%. Uh, I think we're nearly up there with these comments. And he's fucked off now to have a cigarette. Uh, what are you drinking? Cider? No, these are um, German uh, uh, dark beer. Uh, that's why I'm having. I don't know what he's having. Probably Shandy or something. Uh, Uber based. He's having a white beer. So, yeah. And happy JC Jar. Alex, thanks for the shout out. I'm in the process of growing my YouTube channel at the moment. And every little bit helps. Right now is uh, most of YouTube shorts. I plan on posting more. Um, my friend's doing the same, actually. He's um, trying to do very similar stuff, and I've been talking about you uh, to him because I know that I believe we had a conversation a little while back about how you take uh, or how you took the pictures of your um, artwork to create the, um, uh, the, the prints that you made. And uh, I think it was something that he was trying to do because um, you have to obviously line it up properly to, to get the line right. And it's, it's a lot harder than, than, than you think because obviously you have to get the, uh, the distance uh, in the right way. Otherwise, it can distort the image and stuff like that. Um, but I'm sure we had that conversation before. Um, but yeah, I mean, post it on Rad Titan, you know, get your stuff out there, um, uh, JCG, and basically, you know, we'll share it. Happy to do that. I know a lot of the time-lapse stuff does really, really well. Uh, but yeah, on Instagram, do the shorts, stories, whatever else. And, you know, hopefully the numbers the numbers will, will add up. Obviously, you got to work out your um, the best time to post. And uh, probably go like one a day. And then also, you got to work out the, the hashtags that are going to work best for you as well. So, yeah. And where are we now? What have I got on PO? At the moment, absolutely nada. Um, yeah, no, no, the only things I have on pre actually is and that's a lie. Is the uh, I think they're my diamond select, and they are the uh, Thor and Silver Surfer that make up the Silver Surfer number four uh, cover, and they're like a little. Um, maybe one seventh scale pieces. There's the only two pieces I have on order at the moment because I'm trying to save up for um, a house, which I've managed to do, and now wait for the house to go through. But the one that's going through is going to need a shitload of work, um, so I can't afford to keep buying statues at the moment. So yeah, that's that's my pre-order list at the moment is short and pathetic. My pre-order list is yeah. at uh, around fifty. No one fucking asked you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, check this out. 
The oh, repaint. Yeah. Oh wow. Jeez. This this is by Titanen. Yeah, yeah. What do you think? I've always wondered how to say her name. Titanen. Okay. Off one. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's really nice. That's nice. Yeah, she does a great job, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you gotta focus. Yeah, I've seen the photos I posted before. It's gonna be good. And uh, Jonas asked, right. does have a preferred company? That one. Uh, does have a preferred company you like, Oh Brothers? Um, again, at the moment, like the last few pieces I've got in. Do you know, if, uh, the, my last pieces I bought actually have been older, um, older sideshow pieces um, because I, again, don't have the luxury of space like you don't think you have, which you're living in a fucking bubble. Um, but, you know, I don't have this luxury of space where I can fit all this. And, you know, a lot of the older sideshow pieces, you can fit a lot of them together. They have uh, very small it's footprints. Nice, right? And I went through, uh, I was trying to get hold of the older sideshow pieces called um, The Dead. So if you look those up, they're Is all... Caught up the no, Dead? No, or? no. Before that. The Dead. So it's basically all these, like, uh, there's a line of them, which are zombies. And um, I just finished that line. Um, I may go back and get some of them because I've got the Undying Carcass and the patient zero i may go back and get those exclusive um but i just got the Templars verdict and the uh, frozen dead and so yeah that, that's the whole line there how much did they go for now well that was that was the funny thing is back in the day they used to go for um for Templars verdict for the exclusive um it sold on sideshow maybe for maybe 350 dollars 400 dollars or whatever it was and they were selling for like a thousand pounds for the Templars verdict exclusive so at the, so like thirteen hundred uh, dollars and then i managed to find one local for 200 pounds which is like 250 dollars yeah. so That's i managed to get it for a steal because the guy thought it was broken what? Uh, the guy thought it was broken thought and, it was broken and then when i turned up to look at it what it was was on the um i don't well what i didn't notice it when i turned up to look for it i just noticed that the um one of the hands didn't fit properly okay. and that was what he thought was broken like he class that's broken so i'm like oh it's fine i'll sort this out later went home and what it was was on the exclusive handle the regular hand one of them it had like on the peg it had like a rubber like sheath thing like you would have over a cable or something and literally you to take it off Oh, put on the other one and put it in and it would fit <laughs> and he thought it was broken Lucky um, <laughs> and then I got the frozen dead off the same guy for 350 or 400 pound I can't remember but same thing as they they, they used to sell for 600 pound and then they've dropped down a big price and I, I like those because they go really well with the horror stuff I like and they just play really well they they um, what else have I bought recently I've got like Again, the old Sideshow Black Cat, which is she's named on the safe. I was wanted it for a long time. Again, it dropped out of price. Um, I picked up a, whole, a guy's whole collection. <clears throat> Basically, he had like problems with his um, ex-wife. Got kicked out. Needed rent money and whatever else, and sold his whole collection. And I said to him, "How much you want?" He told me. I gave him more, and took them off him. So yeah, so it worked out pretty well. And then I sold uh most of the pieces off now uh still got a bunch of them left but yeah most of the most of the pieces lately have been old pieces all been old pieces um there's not i mean there's some new pieces i've won but i'm just waiting just waiting wait for them to come out at the moment it's not a good time to buy yeah. brand new you know a lot of the stuff you'll find someone selling yeah. cheaper later on yeah of course like even in thailand it's not even worth it to pre-order anything right now and you see yeah. people try to flip it or they just try to get rid of it yeah right before 
if that thing comes up. It's sad, but like, um, there's always someone willing to sell it cheap. Yeah. You and know, then and, just fuck and, up then, the and then too, once actually. someone sells it for that price, everybody else expects it. Everybody expects it, yeah, of price. course, of course. What's, yeah. it, what's uh, comic graphic novels are you both reading at the moment? At the moment, I'm not reading anything. Really. Nothing. I'm, no, no. I'm reading the the new Avengers. I'm yeah. on number 51 right now. Mm. I'm going to reread uh, Walking Dead because I got originally okay. up to about like, I got up to the part where they slice Negan's throat and then it jumps like 10 years in the future and then I stopped reading it. <laughs> okay. um, so I need to read the last batch. I, um, I did. I did pick up some stuff, but I can't. I can't remember now. Yeah, I just haven't. I haven't, I haven't read anything new in a while. And I went. I went for a phase of just buying like shed loads of uh, uh, variants because you just picked up all that stuff. I just. I brought over all this stuff for you. Yeah. So, like, how many? Fifteen CTCs. Fifteen. Something like that. I took up my whole fucking suitcase. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, shit. These are going to break, and these are this. And I was worried about it. Don't worry about it, man. Oh, you got that one there. That one's signed. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I feel, it's, I feel it's good. I like ones. it. I actually forgot which ones I had. Alex, I had box which ones. LBS Hulk version you like? I know Art is keeping the rage. I am wondering your choice. <laughs> so, Kirby, Zenobies, oh, Water. Oh, I can't even switch them. Or um, the Grey. Give him a minute. Meanwhile. Which one do you like? Yeah, which one do you like? Uh, in my review, I kind of like the 70s. That one, the one you're looking at, yeah. I like that face more than the modern, but I just, I feel like for the Hulk, I need it to be rage. Happy JCC said I only yeah, have one. XM Venom arise on pre order. The uh, Kirby. One. Kirby. Yep. You do? Kirby. That that's like uh, I don't like that. Is that your worst one? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like I don't like Kirby I don't like Kirby art style ever. Like on anything really. Uh so here's the thing about okay. Which one is your one of the Huh? We got friends. Really? George. Dude, it yeah, looks like Geo. Yeah. <laughs> okay, happy. Next week, I will be going to um, review the Venom Arise and the Hulk, the Venom Hulk as well. I think that Rage one's my worst one. Rage, okay. That one there, is that your, the Rage one, yeah? Yeah, that's, that's the worst one. Okay, the modern Rage <laughs> is the answer, Annie. I think um, the one that's on the body at the moment and the Kirby, uh, the, the, the battle ones. You just um, went all over the place. <laughs> no, no. The modern rage one is the worst one, I just said. The worst one? Yeah. The worst one is that one there. Whatever, dude. <laughs> if I had to, uh, uh, I'd probably go with the one on the body at the moment. Yeah. I like that one the most, actually. But The rage one's the worst. Mm -hmm. Whatever, okay. dude. <laughs> uh, I only have the uh, pre of the. Uh... Have you seen uh, the Venom Arise in person? Yeah, yeah, good. Yes, yeah, through us. Right. I spoke to um, Happy JCG about it, and uh, it's um, when I saw it, I'm actually like, come on together. And um, it was really, really surprising how much I liked it. Uh, but then the other side of it was. I have no fucking clue how what it is. that is the same price as Gene Grow. Wait, what? That is no, that is cheaper than Gene Grow. Because it's a lot bigger. So Gene much Grey. bigger. So much bigger than Gene Grow, but how can they be the same yeah. price? No, no, Dude. she's cheaper. So she, so again, she's more expensive than him. That's kind of weird, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and but he's like massive. Sorry. Yeah. Well, I don't know, but I will be doing the reveal next week on Venom Arise prototype and uh, Venom Hope. Yeah. It will be XM sent it to TK and they're going to be sending, they're going to be setting it up at the okay. HT venue. Oh, yeah, so he's moved now, isn't he? He's not here and got his store anymore. Yeah. He's moved R to his... Yeah, right now, but I think XM said they sent this to that store okay. ex exclusively. 
just to show off XM for a couple of months there. So if you live in Thailand, like starting from next week, they're going to be showing a lot of prototypes of XM at Asia T. Were you able to get any insight on upcoming pieces from XM? <laughs> I work with XM, so I know lots of upcoming <laughs> pieces, but I'm not allowed to share any of it. That's the right. problem when I say, when you say yeah. uh, NDA. Uh -huh. you, yeah, I'm going to respect that. <laughs> Congrats on the house, Alex. Thanks, man. Still waiting for it to go through. And uh, yeah, it's going to be, even if it goes through, it's going to be a lot of work. And uh, sure. yeah, fingers right. crossed. Yeah. Hey, at least that's, that's a good move. Death Meadow Soups from P1. Not not that one. Oh, no. The, the new one. Okay. Uh, that's Oh, the one that looks like a rock star. Yeah. Okay. I'm not a fan. Yeah. Um, it looks good, man. No, but, I'm not a fan of the style, but it's the style. It, it's the style. For I me, it looks to. good, um, but I did not pre-order it. Superman portrait looks insane. Thanks, man. How much I paid for it? Damn. Oh, maybe I shouldn't say. She might give you a special deal. You don't know. Selena said, "Alex, say something about XM Venomarize. What do you think about it?" I think. Oh, you just said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I um, I'm literally that far away from uh, pre-ordering that i i think is a really really nice piece and uh seeing it in person i mean seeing it from um you know from the from uh, pictures and things like that i, I was a bit like mm, whatever and then um seeing it in person yeah i might have to, might have to walton just said don't do it alex venom rice texture is a crime against comics <laughs> um to be honest with you, I don't think it's that bad, as bad as you think it is in person. And no, the only thing is some of the tendrils I don't like. I don't like some of the tendrils, but I think you Are can... the tendrils PVC or <clears throat> sculpted? Uh... I, I would guess it's PVC. Otherwise, it's going to break. I think it's sculpted. But like, I think on the um, the other one, on, on the actual Venomized Hulk, they more PVC, I think. Yeah, yeah, it has to be <laughs> that piece. It has to be. Yeah, on the on the on the randomized Hulk, I think they're more PVC, but I think some of these are more sculpted, if I remember. Oh, don't quote me on that. Okay, I won't quote me on that. LBS Venom for the win. Yeah. Have you seen it? Um, I've only seen the unpainted one that they I... had when they did that. Like, um... have you seen the painted one? Uh, no, no. I only saw I'll it like you. when they did the. Um... <laughs> I need to speak to Jay. And <laughs> I'll show it to you. I think Jay, the Jay said this. By the way, uh, Martin, sure. yes. Awesome. Modern Rich for the win. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, just because you like it, don't mean that. <laughs> hey, it's good that we don't have the same taste. <laughs> Otherwise, we have the same collection. <laughs> or a model, we all have the same taste. Don't do it. Happy get P1 Penguin. Yeah. Well, P1 Penguin is. I mean, it, they have like how, like how many portraits? Like four or five. I mean, four or five yeah. very similar portraits. And the price is like triple. <laughs> Why well, is core scale as well as oh, sorry third scale? I cannot wait to see you check those two venom pieces out. Me too. Damien, I missed the beginning. Did you do a quick tour of the room? I did not, man. I mean, nothing really changes from the last time that I did the room tour, so. Can check that out it's the same thing i'm Just... hoping to do a room tour but this is what happened to my uh, uh alex phone <clears throat> is fucked this is what happened the day before if you see that on the screen <laughs> the day before i left so you just about make out my dog in the background but like, um yeah the day before i left my, my phone fell out of my pocket and it just totally dumped my screen in so i've not been able to use it <laughs> and i had to use it now i've got this uh little Chinese thing. Dark which, shit. Uh, Color as well. Apparently it's like a 108 megapixel camera. But. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely <laughs> pilot crap. Okay, that. Oh, Only good thing about it is the battery life is really good. And it charges really fast. Okay. Stuart, I just got an email saying that Prime 1 Dark Knight's Return Batman vs. Superman is going to be delayed. Unfortunately, the process of quality checks we found is some of the statute 
did not. Yeah, it continues on. Go click next message. There you go. Oh, did not need that. <laughs> I'm like, is it happening? Did, did not, is it going <laughs> to appear, appear soon? So Jesus. Click, and then, and then click, oh, shit. Pick, I don't know, Super Kelly's next one. Okay, it doesn't need the standard. I have no idea, man. But uh, yeah, that's. I thought I'm going to be that getting that piece pretty soon. I have it on field as well. Superman Kelly, yo, yo, I'm guessing finishing work for the day. Hey. How you doing, buddy? Good job. Congrats. Glad they didn't just ship it with issues. Yeah, that's for sure. I'd rather wait until everything, you know. Totally agree. Yeah. Instead of getting something <clears throat> this that is, needs to be sent back. This is one of the things as well with um, Sideshow back in the day as well. A lot of people would rush to be the first batch uh -huh. and get it as quick as possible, especially reviewers. Right. And that would be always be where the problems were. Um, and we had like some old pieces where, you know, the first batch had the issues and then because of the review is getting them, it was corrected. So like, for example, so that's good then, right? Yeah. Yeah, no, for sure. But you don't really want to be in that first batch if you're just, you yeah. Know, but, so, uh, back in the day, it was good to get it early because then you got you get the views, the, the, the views. but now yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter anymore really because Jeb Mink comes in and gets a million <laughs> views anyway. Worth it. Actually, I don't think he's ever had a million views, but um, you know, you you the, the thing was is something like I remember the um, Thor Modern um, XM or... by Sideshow. Oh, okay, the before, one that he's jumping uh, before your time, Sonny. No, 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 there's before that one. <laughs> that's the, that's a breaker of brimstone. Okay, uh, the one before that where the exclusive was a sword, and you could also get the four frog at the time. Uh, what happened was, is when it arrived, it was so unstable that uh, the guy who reviewed it was uh, Victor, who actually passed away. And he reviewed it and he said, like, this thing's wobbly as fuck and da 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 And because of his review, then they send out, like, another chunk of the base that you bring a wedge underneath. And after that, you they had that with every piece. Um, <laughs> and there was a few pieces like that where the early reviews pointed out those pieces and then they got they got correct yeah okay so yeah that's good i saw it I believe arise is sculpted okay so you live in singapore i think rbs venom is the best statue they have ever shown i have to see it i think what happened with lbs as well is they had like you know the thor the captain america mm -hmm. I so, no, no, this is before. So they had those pieces and then the juggernaut the Spider Man. And then, like, they did that show in like the Philippines and they just showed the Hulks, they showed Iron Man, they showed Thanos. Venom, they showed Thanos. And it was just like, wow, they, 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 they were a good standard already. And now they've jumped. You yeah, know, they, they, they jumped really up. They went up a lot. Uh, with that, the with the second wave, uh, if we say that the you know, first wave was up to Magneto and then the second wave, second wave is the quality's gone up a lot, it looks like. Yeah. So and I, I was really yeah. like that show I was just like okay. Because I, I I I was like a bit with the Captain America, I was a bit like it's nothing special. It's like the old XM one. Mm. You know, it's just a bigger version of the old XM one, might be modernized a little bit. And then you see the Thor, and it is really nice. The Thor, but it's the best of the original ones, I think. Um, but still, it's like, okay, it could be better. It could paint could be better, whatever else. But then the next batch, you're like, <laughs> oh, wow, these are all really Yeah, nice. Magneto. I'm, I'm not that impressed. With no? Magneto. You don't like it? I think of the original ones. Because I when think, I... Uh, I think I think Thor is the best one out of the originals. Um, What's you're missing? What's the one you're missing? I'm just saying. Mm, nothing. No. Was it Captain America for all the movie? Okay. Yeah, so far. And then yeah. Hulk. Okay. And then Iron Man. You can. <laughs> it should be here within a couple of days. <laughs> yeah, you I'm missed it. <laughs> I, I, I think four is better than Magneto. Really? Uh, yeah. The, the base wise or like <coughs> the whole thing? Totally. I just, just, just the whole concept. Okay. I, I like the storytelling base. I think that Magneto is a bit of a mess. And 
But it's too much. It's a bit much. And even when they they bought the um, prototype to uh, Singapore, they forgot to bring the base. They forgot to bring the um, the aura. Yeah, the energy <laughs> field. Okay. Uh, yeah, with um, the aura, it looks just. I've seen it. It's not special. I've seen it, but I, I think if I had to, if I had to pick up on the three, I'll go with four all day long. Okay. All right. Um, all right. I think then it's four make me Captain America. Yeah. Um, and then, but with the new ones, it's like. They, they, they more yeah, they really, I mean, they, really, they, they, really... they went with you know their story base, yeah, and it just looks. I think so it's much sculpted like... by Franco, isn't it? Franco Calisimo. Really, I think he did a fantastic job with it. Yeah? On all of them. Hmm. Venom rise or symbiote transformation? <laughs> yeah. That's tough. I'd um, say. if the prices were the same. Um, I would say symbiote because I go with it's, sim I it, go it's more unique. But I, I, I think the price is, is a bit high. high. It is. I high. think it's twenty one. It's it twenty one hundred. And then um, I think the symbiote is five hundred dollars more than the Venom Arises. I think. Hey, what's up, Crippler? My man. How you doing, Trey? What's up, man? Hey, you man. <laughs> Do you guys work? <laughs> Damn, it's already midnight, bro. <laughs> you we're just like talking our ass off without. We're just going through comment. We, we didn't even do nothing else. That's what we do. Like literally, George and I go through God, comments, man. and then we're like, "Okay, guys, we're gonna have to go into the bit the images." <laughs> Fuck. Okay. I didn't think that many people would be like commenting. <laughs> oh, Penguin gives me awful Batman Return vibes. I don't know it looks why good. awful for, for, for me I why think is it that awful good. it wasn't he wasn't uh, Danny DeVito was fucking awesome Danny DeVito was so good in Ben <laughs> I do actually um I actually was thinking this about two days into my holiday is I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna rewatch um the original Tim Burton stuff and I'm gonna rewatch um uh the Val Kilmer one as well uh well, I don't know it's our ex on them but Okay. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to bother with George Clooney one, but yeah, I'm going to go back and watch those three. But I think Kimmer, George, George I, gave me the box set. Damien, what's up? Welcome. How you doing, man? He's from Rat Titan Link. Hey. Have you heard of your channel or seen your collection before? It looks fantastic. Thank you, man. Yes, Alex, I'm here with tour. Be great. I haven't done one myself for a couple of years. I can't do one myself because uh, all my shit is. Uh, in a mezzanine on top of my fucking flat, you know, so I, I, I can't, it's just I literally hundred and done, man. whatever boxes above there. But I am actually, um, depending if I can get the time in the morning and whether Art's lighting looks okay on camera, because uh, <laughs> his, his, his lights are well fucking colorful here. Uh, well, I'm going to try and do it like a room tour of this and go for it. Um, we have to learn what the characters are first of all as well. I'm not going to butcher these. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to try and do a room tour here. I can't do one in mind until probably, if I do by the place, like six months time. Talk to Brian Wong, get my get my shit sorted, rebuild some of the house and whatever else. But it's going to be at least six months before I get it done. Amini said, ask him about Berserk. Ask Me who? or who? um not me because uh, i'm in what capacity uh anime because i know you're a big uh figurama fan um <laughs> i can't talk about that side of stuff. i got like stuff i can't talk about but uh, uh no, no, no no feel um... free if you can no i, you can. I, I don't if know you can don't i know the figure i'm already announced so they they with a the the um Berserk line is too saturated at the moment. They're not, not interested in getting involved because I know anime uh, Leonardi's a big uh, figure on the fan. I think that's where he's getting at because I did ah, a okay. I did an interview with Shut Up. I don't think he's interested at the moment. <laughs> Chris Harris said, Stuart Murray, get more reviews done. Yes, bro. One seventh. 
Uh, really doesn't like one seven pieces. So good. You mean that LBS? No, I I don't. I actually don't like the one seven stuff to be honest with you. Why? Um, I, I I just it's just a it's weird, an odd. It's a weird scale, and I know Bowen stuff is originally uh, one seventh. I know a lot of people think it's one six, but it's one seven. Um, but um, it just takes up too much room Wait, for what? a one seven scale piece. They take the the juggernaut and the Spider Man take up too much room. I can't. If I'm going to make a sacrifice to a smaller scale, it needs to justify that it's a smaller scale. It needs to take up less shelf space. I can't give a one seventh scale juggernaut or Spider Man a quarter scale shelf space. I can't do it. I don't have this like you have. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep saying it. Uh, I can't. So, all right. Yeah, me too. Me too. I'm not saying I don't like it. I'm just saying that the, the Thor's bound. I think the Thor is a better piece. Okay. All right, ask the people. Legendary scale Thor or legendary scale Magneto? Okay, let's ask. Or, or you, are you going to do, you do a little poll? You can, oh, man, you're, you're a fucking pro. <laughs> Actually, do all three of them. Add in Captain America just so that I can add him if they want to do it. Fun. <laughs> Even the polls. Impressive statue collecting has made my hair white. See that? That's what I'll do to you after 10 years, everybody, all right? All right. You guys can vote on that and prove it. I mean, you can only do that on Facebook. You can't see this on StreamYard. So you can only do this. You can only see this on the Facebook side. Wait, Facebook? You mean uh, sorry, YouTube? Uh, YouTube side. Yeah, right, right. But, but most of them are on okay. from YouTube anyways. All right, that's cool then. All right. So I put a poll out. You guys can um, prove Alex wrong. <laughs> Cyclops hasn't reached the collector. Exactly. I'm still waiting on Cyclops. I heard um, the ES is low as well for Cyclops. That's what I'm thinking about Cyclops as well. But the Cyclops, again, is it's, like, it's too similar to the XM Cyclops. Yeah. And yeah, just, with, with a switch out on everything, it's just a bigger just, size. Yeah, yeah. I don't and, I, and I, and that, that's actually, I think that's Robert Chopra, uh, who sculpted that one. Um, I stick by it that Thor is better than that, and Magneto is better than that. Cyclops isn't the better piece. Cyclops might even be my worst piece out of all of them. Really? It's either Cyclops or the Captain America. At least with the Captain America, though, it's quite. It's quite a stoic pose and it's quite like you, yeah, know, you, you, yeah, you could have it. With the the Cyclops, I think it's quite awkward. It's like a bye. I just don't, I know it's with the brood and the, the base and stuff. I, I, just don't, I just think it looks like they've taken the original sculpt, like copied their homework and kind of gone like, all right, let's just tweak it a little bit and then not All right, all right. <laughs> we'll see, man. I'll, I'll see him in person and see how it looks. But. <laughs> I thought they were talking about one that had been seen. I can't wait to get Cyclops in hand, jumping the gun. <laughs> I like the new symbiote transformation, but I really don't like the Venom teeth on that piece. I think um, the oh. one thing that they need to do, and I, I, did, I did mention it, but they won't do it, is the, the bottom jaw is it's slightly kind of over. forward, right? It's, it's, forward. It's, it's, it's to the side. Like and it needs to kind of like be moved over because it just looks a bit but think of it, uh, is it, more I mean, they're meant to do that because it's, it's the way it's like designed. If you look right? up, uh, if you go on yeah. uh, uh, in Hercules, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the, the uh, Facebook, it's that. exactly like that. But like, it just looks, it makes it look, um, uh, <laughs> look really, like, okay. just like derpy, like, you know, it just okay, makes okay, it look a bit yeah. like, mm, okay. But so if they will, if they want to change they moved, that, can they, they do it? They could. If the morning, but I guess is if it's been approved, then but know, I but, mean, like, let's say it's the, the, the art, everything is already approved, but they just want to change the jaw a little bit. They, they need to have to ask they, them, they again. need to ask Marvel again, yeah, yeah. But again, it'll be it may be that oh, you know, because we're because I know there was there were several things, for example, with the original 
um, uh, Batman Sanity, mm -hmm. where um, there were feedback from the community saying, okay, we would like Riddler, or okay, we would like Bane moved from here, or okay, we would like this and this and this. And XM were like, well, you know, we have to respect David Finch's art, and this is how we drew it. Okay. But I think with this one, it's just a slight kind of like, it's just real like slight tweak of the jaw is what it needs. And so in Kapai, it just looks a bit, it's a bit like, it just makes it a bit stupid. I don't know, it just doesn't look right. <laughs> and just, it's just that, that little slight movement. Even I mean, maybe if you get it, you can hair dry it. I don't know, but yeah. yeah. Why doesn't he have any custom? Me? Uh, there's, one, there's one over there. I personally have 10 customs on pre-order and one at my condo. And I, I just gave six. I sold one here and gave five back to my friends. Dave. Yeah, because it's his. <laughs> Uh, all, okay, all the, okay. you know, the X-Men... That's what King used to do, yeah. Huh? King, uh, uh, M Gallery. You used to, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, keep people's pieces. Right, right, right. So, they, so, their wife, yeah. so the wife didn't know. Huh? So the wives didn't know. He kept their pre-orders. Oh, okay, okay. So the pre-orders get, pre get delivered yeah, yeah. to his gallery. Right, right. And then he sets them up in his gallery <laughs> for like a year, two years, whatever. And then when they're allowed, like, so they have a, like a... A window. Yeah. But they're still there. Yeah. But they're still here they, today. They, he's, he's got a lot of them. He's got a lot of them still. <laughs> still. But, uh, yeah. So we keep waving our hands around. Like, Fuck. No, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up? Get to the shopper. Get to the shopper. Get to the shopper. What's up? How you doing, man? Marco. Hello. How you doing? Are you friend with, uh, Mick? Samuel? <laughs> yeah. Over One, I love Batman 89, but Return was not good in my opinion. I need to, no, I just Ooh. haven't seen them in so long. And uh, I know you say Returns is not good, but Michelle Pfeiffer, she, yeah. It, it, there was a thing actually, that they, I mean, Michelle Pfeiffer from that, I, I, really, I really fancied her. But the thing was, is there was a thing later on where they did a behind the scenes thing and they, they they announced how much they padded out her suit and I was just like they destroyed my whole childhood and my white bank. Yeah. So, not good. <laughs> All right, Jonas, honestly I only have uh, one air purifier and what do you call this? The add up? Uh like an extractor fan? Something like that, yeah, that's it. It will turn off at night when I'm not here, so it just Kind of take all the dust out. So honestly, I don't have that many dust in the room with the high ceiling. Yeah, it kind of helps a lot. Also, if you haven't got the traffic as well, because obviously uh, that that creates a lot of it, like coming in and out. Um, but it's just me though coming in. No, out. that's what I'm saying. So if you haven't got the traffic, then yeah, because I mean, like in my even in my old um, statue room, because then you obviously still have the corridor people walking back and forward and back and forward it, it creates still there's like a lot more dust than you okay. think and also there's a main road outside my old mm -hmm. house as well okay. but maybe because of the ac as well because i turn them on like during the day one each like i got a timer on it yeah so may maybe that as well like at my condo there's so much we dust. Have air con. Fuck. yeah but your your condo is in the sea so you got much more traffic like car traffic no, what where, you your, where your condo is, there's more car traffic around. No, but I don't open my window or anything. Yeah, but there's still can, well, well, how do you get in there? Though? Well, I've, I mean, air gets in, otherwise, you can't fucking breathe. <laughs> no, it gets, you, you can like, still if I'm get not in. even there, right? I mean, dust gets in there, dust will get in. All right, whatever. <laughs> uh, probably one berserk. Well, do they have any other company that does berserk? um there's some berserk stuff from like greco and i think um the french company um all right and eric and eric creations but did yeah, some, of course, yeah, yeah yeah but prime one of course i mean yeah prime one i mean yeah they've done some some fantastic stuff and i mean yes, um, I'm, uh, I'm not gonna lose uh, but right now i'm winning 
Dennis, what's up, man? Ah, fuck you. All. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Dennis? Edwin, come on, bro. <laughs> come on, Edwin. You're my boy. <laughs> Bit of a potion. XM had all an awkward leg to torso proportion. I think, um, I, do you know, I think the original idea of what the XM one I think was based on is one of my favorite uh, Cyclops? Cyclops images of all time. But because they did the switch out torso, they fucked up. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the original artwork, I believe, where he's facing up and lasering up in the fucking air uh -huh. is from a, a, a card. And I think it's from like... Um, like a Marvel Masterpieces 94 or 95, and it's a, a Cyclops one. And it's amazing. It's a, it was my favorite Cyclops art of all time. If you Google it now, like Google uh, Cyclops Marvel Masterpiece. And then like, it's so, it's so nice. It might be 94 or 95, I can't remember. Like, uh, Marvel Masterpiece card. I think it's that. This. No, okay, not that then. That one there in the middle. Right that one there, that's one of my favorite ones, yeah. So it's the Ultra card, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's what I think it was based on originally, but because of the how high he's got that knee, you can't do that. You can share this with people, you do know that. Do you I not do. know how to do it? I, I do, I'm just like, please. Uh -huh. <laughs> do it. I'm trying to work out the slides. Uh, share screen. Yes, but yeah, make sure you get your vote in there, uh, Rob, because yeah. uh, we're losing yeah. here. Magneto is still winning. All good. That's the final way, yes. Of the old fleet cards. Yeah, the old flare cards. I was talking, we were talking about this earlier on, and um, I got onto a uh, Kickstarter, and uh, it was for the original uh, Marvel Masterpieces, and I think it's 92 is when it started. Um, and I picked up the Jake Jasko um, book from uh, Kickstarter. And it comes with two. It comes with like a soft pack and a hard pack. So I'll probably give the soft pack one to uh, to Gio if he wants it. But I know what he, the way he gets is like, even though I buy something and I try and give him one of them, he'll then get all bitchy about it and he'll still want the hard pack one. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, he'll buy his, by supporting the uh, Kickstarter, they'll make the 90. Three, four, five, whatever, you know, wherever it goes on to. All right. Do you feel that the LBS Cyclops with such a low ES will be sought after once Wolverine and some of the other X Men comes out? I don't know what the edition size is. Um, but it's I a possibility. It was, it's a possibility for it sure. One fifty. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's really low. I didn't realize it was that low. Yeah, that's why I got it. Okay. I, I did not pre-order it. Yeah. <laughs> but also, I do think that. The uh, way it looks, it deserves to be 150. Um, <laughs> I'm joking. I mean, 150 is really low. Um, what I would love to see, though, is um, with the way LBS is going, and uh, you know, I haven't seen the whole uh, the whole of the Wolverine yet. I'd love to see the whole of that, and I'd love to see a whole of a saber tooth. Um, I would also love to see a Punisher and a Spider Man from the dead ones. Have you seen the uh, J JTs? I saw like a bunch of, like six pictures or so. Oh, okay. All right. Have you, where's your nearest toilet? Is it all the way back up? I've got to take the go golf cart and go. What? The nearest toilet? Toilet? No, no. It's on the other side. I didn't pay All right. 
Go on, go on. Let's see how we share. What? We're going to get lost. No, no, no. <laughs> what up, guys? I think Alex is uh, a little bit tipsy. <laughs> He's on his one, two, three, four, on his fourth beer. Yeah. So let me show what Jay. See the, um, the plants under here, so he's in like the, I don't know, in a forest somewhere. The claw, the bone claw right here, switch out. Looks good, man. Damn. So that's from the comics here. All right. Looking forward to it. I mean, I, you know, I'm really falling in love with LBS. So, and I do trust their work, like the quality of them. I'm probably gonna be moving on to a lot of one third pieces. Um, so yeah, I have a lot of LBS that I am going to be pre-ordering, including uh, oh, and also Jay is probably going to be sending more prototypes as time goes. Start with Iron Man and maybe I can do um, Thanos as well after this. That would be cool. Am I back? Can you hear me? All right. Yeah, man. Mr. Sinister. I mean, I, I mean, I think that Marvel just basically gave them the license to do that comics. So that's just too bad. Yeah. But you, you've seen this, right? Dude, you told me. What? So you say go in there and it's on the make left. Make a right. I said make a right yeah, and no, then make on a the left. Right and then the left. Yeah. yeah. On the right. Oh, the you, went, you went on yeah, the yeah. first left. Yeah, the first left. I opened the door, which took me quite a while because it was a slide door and I'm trying to push it. <laughs> I'm really trying to like not piss myself. Slide the door and I'm like, I push it, like, ah, turn the key, pushing it, like, ah, okay, okay, nearly pissing myself. Slide it, can't find the light switch. I'm like, oh God, God, I nearly pissed in your washing machine. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's, the, that's the first left you told me to go into. My bad. <laughs> oh shit. But anyway, yeah, Mr. Snister was a fail. <laughs> for me at least XM. yeah what do you think yeah, i mean unfortunately it was uh the licenses of the um house of x stop house of x and uh you know that's where they're kind of doing it at the moment right um yeah i mean i i can't think much it. about it i can't defend it i can't yeah. defend it i mean like there's so again if you go back onto the old um cards the ultra cards there's some great work there's there's the one with uh, madeline Pryor, which i think we've made into a custom piece which looks amazing um also the the strife 
um, for one of those ultra cards as well was absolutely amazing. So there, there's so many pieces they should look back over those, look back over the artwork on those cards. And there's so many great pieces they could make. So many great pieces. So many iconic so poses. Why didn't they? Because it's the problem for licenses. You know, the, the, the licenses don't care about what was popular 30 years ago. You know, the things that were popular 30 years ago. But I mean, isn't going to push sales. If what it is is, you know, if you if you're going to give a license to to somebody to make something, you want it to help you promote what yeah, you're selling now. For sure. So, for example, you know, the one of the things that may happen is you may say. I want to make a Batman. I need to make a Batman. I want, you know, I want to do this and this. They'll go, all right, well, okay, okay. Warner Brothers. We'll let you make a Batman, but you need to make a Harry Potter statue and a uh, Lord of the Rings statue because of the anniversary editions that are coming up. If you make that and okay. that, then we'll give I, you the, I, I we'll give the I Batman. See, I see, I see. They, they need something to help them push their, you know, whatever's happening in their time. So that that's what ah. that's the things that happen as well. So that they'll go sucks. like, okay, we have I don't know what were the last TV shows, she hold uh, Miss Marvel with the the girl, for example. Uh -huh. They may go, okay, we want the the girl made into a statue because obviously then they're about diversity and whatever else. So you make that statue, then you can make this one. You want to make this so one. So basically, you have to take a loss on something. Potentially, right? And it depends on what company you are. You know, some companies like, um, I think some companies like Sideshow would be able to make a, um, what's the name, Kamara? Um, Kamara? The Miss Marvel. The, yeah, the, yeah, the, the yeah, little yeah. girl. Yeah. Um, the Indian girl. Yeah, they, they may be able to make that. Like, so a company like Sideshow would be able to deliver that to a wide enough. I think um, that all went to Iron Studios. They're making. They're making it. I probably, probably man, only they one get tenth. everything from Yeah, Marvel. probably only one tenth though. Yeah. I'm saying, but a company like Sideshow may be able to deliver that and may be able to make a profit from it. But a company like uh XM Queen, you know, Infinity, they put they wouldn't. I don't think they would. So it's hard. It's, it's really hard. You know? Yeah. Or I don't that's why I don't blame people going into custom either. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's tough because it's, all it's bullshit. I, you know, the original thing about customs is like, you know, it was originally something where you filled a gap. So, for mm -hmm. example, there was a character that was never yeah. really made, and the custom groups would make these characters. And then it turned into a thing of a thousand Wolverines, a thousand fucking Magneto's. And then it turned into like, Silver Surfer Worlds. And it just got to a point of rather than it being we're just gonna fill in these gaps to being fucking we're just gonna make what the fuck we like and keep doing it. And there's some companies out there who make great statues, but they make they have like eighty pre-orders going at once. And it's crazy. It's it's crazy that these unlicensed companies can can do that, you know. Hmm. And there'll be a day when they'll get a cease and desist and they'll just you know, fuck people over big time. Oh, Jason, what's up, bro? How you doing, man? What is it, like 9.30 in the morning over there? I think it's your light making my hair look this, uh, this white, isn't it? No, it look, make you, you look better, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Secret War incoming and MCU preparing. I, yeah. Adam Waller, Silver Surfer, and Dr. Doom. Dude, they, they really do need to introduce Doctor Doom into the MCU. Silver so, Surfer so is uh, way, way, um, you know. Oh, they, 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 I mean, like I was so upset because Silver so Surfer was even Adam Warlock as well. They were both huge, huge factors in the original uh, Infinity War, and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, Silver so Surfer is my favorite character, and I think that for him to be missing for so long is. Well, did you like the first one that they came out with, uh, the Fantastic Four, on the second? I don't think the representation of the character was too bad. I actually think that the the um, the what they call it the 3D body mapper, whatever the uh -huh. uh, Doug Jones body was fine. 
the voice of um, Lawrence Black Fishburne is. was actually pretty good. And uh, I just think that then obviously when Doctor Doom takes us out, it almost starts fucking flying around. That got really shit. But um, <laughs> I, I don't think Lawrence Fishburne, Doug Jones' body, I don't, I don't think it was a bad rendition of, of Silver Surfer at all. Um, I think it was, you, you have to, you have to take it for what it was and when it was done. It was done before MCU. And you have to take mm -hmm. that into consideration. Right. There was no when MCU came along, they they changed it all. You know, they 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 made it more focused and more like these are the story and this is where it's like leading and this and that. The original Fantastic Four movies are not great, but for when they were made, they were like okay, they, they were good movies at the time. I feel like but we the don't remake we didn't just have made it worse. Sorry, like. The more remakes they do, the, the worse it gets. <clears throat> well, the Fantastic Four, um, I can't even remember who's in it. Um, the first one, Chris Evans was. No, uh, the the remake one. The remake the, um, by Jamie the Bell from and Creed. Huh? The guy from Creed. Yeah, I mean, that that was, <laughs> was really bad. Yeah. But that was all to do with the fact that, you know, Fox. Um, there's a thing with licensing as well where uh, especially movies where if you have to make a movie every x amount of years or you lose the license and that, that was just made not to lose the license okay um but it was terrible and then they had that guy who is probably smaller than me playing the thing and that was just yeah. like what the fuck? Yeah, that's and he ended up looking like a bit of kfc yeah. chicken you know uh it was bad they already teased Galactus and Martin Augusta computer screen. Yeah, the, the, the yeah, XMR doing Galactus, so yeah. They've already announced that, Seng said about it, and uh, I've been pushing for that, um, Jelena, I've been really, really pushing for that. The problem is, is with um, Marvel is they've only just acquired Fox like a couple of years ago, and it turned into a thing where um, when the Fox license was taken over, uh, X-Men, uh, Fantastic Four, whatever, it was told that you could only have, um, I think, I can't remember, it was three or four. I think it was, you could take four of the, the Fantastic Four characters from their universe. That's and it? They, they had to choose them. Sorry? Four from their universe. And they had to choose them at that time. Yeah. And then they need to assess it later on so why did they choose the thing the thing um i the, the first course was like the thing uh what's this called super scroll yeah um i like this um okay i can't remember the other one now but yeah it was how all... many character was it like to choose from whole world the whole the fantastic four yeah but some of those characters actually like ties into the adventures and everything else too right yeah so how do they it's 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 difficult because it's like <laughs> when you look at um i'm trying to think of an example now um it's like in the movies so for example you had um quicksilver and you had quicksilver in the x-men movies mm -hmm. And yeah, Quicksilver in the Marvel movies. Yeah. So you had Aaron, whatever, the kick ass guy playing him in one of them. And you had the guy from American Horror Story in the others. Yeah. And then they took the piss out of it in one division because they merged it. Mm -hmm. Do you know? Yeah. yeah. So it's the same as that, where you have the, yeah, you do have characters across over, but um, with the comics, I think it's more with the, the sort of licensing than that regard. It's, it's stricter with like, so it's like, yeah, Fantastic Four is Doctor Doom, yeah, Silver Surfer, yeah, Galactus, yeah, um, uh, God, loads of them, loads of them. Adam Warlock, okay. yeah. I don't like the thing at all. I hate the thing. Me. <laughs> I absolutely hate the thing. I really do. Dude, don't. because his power is just like, what the fuck? It's just that <laughs> thing, like, you know, when, uh, I mean, when I, when I grew up, there was the cartoon and we used to watch it. 
and he was always like, it's clobbering time. And he would get his <laughs> fucking ass handed to him every single time he said that. He would always get beat up. But the funniest thing was, um, I remember, um, I was obviously a massive Silver Surfer fan, loved the Silver Surfer. And they released like um, a thing on Fox. And it was a Silver Surfer one. And they only released half of the season, I think. They didn't release all of it. <laughs> and um, I remember when I was watching it, my my ex kept walking in. And then like, I was watching it, and she walked in and whatever else. And she goes, every time I walk in, this guy falls off his fucking surfboard. <laughs> Can he even ride his surfboard? And I'm like, yeah, he does fall off it. No, this can not thing. Yeah, it really does. Wow. Crippler said, Alex, I thought your favorite character was Wolverine. Now I have to update your collected combat slides <laughs> to add Silver Surfer for season three. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I, I do love Wolverine, Spider-Man, Punisher. Um, but my favorite has always been Silver Surfer. I have a tattoo across the whole of there, Silver Surfer. Really? Yeah. I didn't even know. Yeah, I think, uh, <laughs> Yeah. Also there, look, uh, you can see on the camera, like uh, Stan Lee, Samuel. Yeah, you know, but yeah, I'm not in, I'm not in beach body shape too. <laughs> All <laughs> right. <up>. Uh, <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah. It's based on yeah. the artwork from, uh, there you go, you got my gut sticking out. But... <laughs> it's Damn, based on man. the um, <laughs> artwork from a comic called uh, <clears throat> Heroes. And it's the 9-11 tribute comic, and uh, it's from the, the opening page. So you open it up, and it's got Silver Surfer looking down at the earth. That's where it's from. Statue is just funny. Two sorts of wrong hand. Just let them know, bro. I've read 23 books, and I am pretty sure swords would be in a different hand. I have no idea what you're talking about. He's talking about the... Um, Dungeons and Dragon uh, character. So it's the guy with the um, the dude with the pamphlet. And uh, yeah, I mean, um, it wasn't very well received. Um, hopefully they'll listen to the feedback and hopefully they'll improve it. <laughs> yeah, that would be in like, what, five years? <laughs> I bet he's got a whole backlog of characters he wants oh, okay. to work on. Question. Do you guys know if XM is going to complete Marvel first family and give us Reed, Johnny, and Sue? You answer that. They can only at pick the moment they can only pick like four characters. They, they, it might have been three. I can't remember three or four because it was, you know, obviously the. But anyway, they can do the whole Fantastic so, Four. And also, I do think that um, I don't think they're an easy sale to sell all of them. I think that like. You know, you you could sell the thing as a single character, but I do well, think that, like someone like I think you could sell Human Torch as a character. Yes, but I do think that Reed and Susan would probably be better as a dialogue. But uh, like like couple of people I know that collects like custom in Thailand. Yeah, there's a really nice Susan one. Yeah. yeah, they have like Human Torch or whatever. But when X and that whole diorama though, there's a, there's a recent no, custom. Oh yeah, I've seen that one. That shit's crazy, man. But um, yeah. But this one, they they usually just take like each single characters. Yeah. But once XM announced that they're doing this thing, he ordered the thing from XM just to go with their custom. You know. Yeah. Yeah, because I, it does look better than the custom thing that sure. I've seen. I think that it was a really nice one sculpted by Sheridan Dozy, but I can't remember who the group were who put it out. But it was really nice. But the um. You know, oh, he's in trouble. <laughs> Let's run out. But yeah, I do think that the um, characters with the thing you could sell as an individual character. I do think you could make a really nice Human Torch as a character. But I do think that it would be nice to have the Reed Richards and the Susan Storm as a Dio, where like, you know, she's there, like he's kind of hugging or around her or something. And you know? um, I think it would sell better as a diode, to be honest with you. Maybe I'm wrong because I'm not a big Fantastic Four fan. You're going to tell me I'm an idiot, but yeah. What was that? Did you like the way I parked my golf cart? No, 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 no. Yeah, you tell him. I'm going to park it that way next time as well, right? No, 
No, no, no. <laughs> I'm joking. Not that. <laughs> I'm not. I... Look what time it is. Well. And he said that that's a delivery of something to come. Oh, hopefully it's my oh, ring. For my basketball court. Oh, you can deliver it. Um, computer, yeah, yeah, blah. It's or Captain America, Captain America holding a shield, both hands. Uh, Dritz is opposite. Uh, Wolverine is the goat. I love Wolverine, and um, but I do remember, like, the funny thing about Wolverine is, like, when you're a kid, and you watch the 93 cartoon you're always like wolverine's a badass wolverine's the guy wolverine's the man whatever and, and uh, cyclops is a dickhead um and then you watch it when you're later on in life and you realize that wolverine is a bit of a prick and cyclops actually does have a really good point wolverine's trying to fuck his wife and um cyclops has a really good point of being annoyed about it to be in all fairness um the next big cartoons wolverine always gets removed from the fire immediately um as well as comes back of the yeah yeah but definitely definitely um well rad time with if i know rad and Thanos. yeah of course of course so that was the original thing with rad time was um we took a long time deciding that name um you wouldn't believe the back and forward of that and how many names came in and a lot of really, really bad names actually. And even the even the Rad Tire one, I think was George's call. Um it was to do with Noran Rad as a uh, sub surfer. And then um Thanos is the Mad Titan, so we took the Mad and uh, JJ Rad and yeah, Rad Titan was kind of born from there really. So yeah, of course. Uh, don't I say cheers, cheers. I'm sorry if I offended anyone with my my beer cup there. Um, how do you guys feel the rumors as the OBS making a DC line? Also, how do you think it will affect Prime One regarding the one third? <clears throat> I, I don't think it was a rumor though. I think it was actually put out there, wasn't it? The DC stuff. I think Jay put it out there. Uh, what about the thing if they were doing all four by itself it doesn't really make sense it, it, you know I'm not saying they're not doing all four I'm just saying that uh, at the time the thing was done it was only the thing and you had to choose a few others uh, but in future you know it all depends on how well things sell if things sell well then the lines will be continued uh, would love to see Johnny Storm uh, with accent flame fire paint I'd love to see it too Johnny Storm for sure. Uh, like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you can't just buy one. Um, different. Yeah, yeah. Totally sure. Also, we're talking about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles today. And um, I think my dream pieces to get would be the original Sideshow Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Shredder, and um, American and uh, European Mousers. I'd love to sort of get all that. Um, Alex, don't say that Cyclops is a dick. Dude, man. <laughs> In the original, when, when you're a kid, um, you know, you think Cyclops is a huge bell and you're like, man, you're such a fucking party pooper. You're this, you're that. And you're like, oh, fuck you, man. When you watch it back when you're older, your perspective has changed. And you're really, for me, you know, I'm just like, Ah, yeah, I kind of get Wolverine's, I kind of get Cyclops' point now, you know. Again, he's trying to fuck his missus the whole time, and he does not listen to anything the team captain's saying. And, yeah, 100%. Yeah, Cyclops is always right. <laughs> I've brought the next same thing and looking forward to it. Yeah, I mean, hopefully, I mean, the thing for me is just always been my worst Marvel character. I just think that... He's always been fucked up by the Hulk when they're at a fight. Um, he always says again, Cobra and Tom gets fucking ass handed to him. So I just never, never, ever been a fan of that. Uh, pretty ridiculous. There you go. Good timing. What'd you get? What? What'd you get? Delivered. Um, the metal sheet for the basketball court. At 1 a.m.? Yeah. 
So we have to let them wait until seven o'clock before they can come in. Really? Yeah, of course. Like, how the fuck would I let them come in right now? <laughs> I opened that box and I was like, I'm not going to open this box until I get home. And then you know, the one you left in my room. Yeah, and I'm like, I'm not going to open it until I get home. And then like literally I thought, because do you, know, you know the funny thing is there's like a dresser and then there's like um, uh, like a, a cup pad, like a cup pad that you cut things out. Uh -huh. Blade, a Stanley blade with a pair of scissors, right? And I'm like, oh my God, this is like fucking asking to be open. <laughs> and I'm like, so like, fuck it. So like I literally got the scissors cut off the, uh, uh, the ribbon okay. things. And then like got the blade, cut it open and I opened it. And I'm like, that's the messiest fucking polystyrene ever. <laughs> Sealed it back up, put it back in my, <laughs> put it in my case. Oh, yeah. It's oh, um, shit. it's a Narin. I'm oh, sorry, I waved my hands right now. Yeah. Hey, it's um, Narin um, Vile Gaiva. So it's from the movie where the Gaiva gets infected. And oh, gets, okay. Like, the, You're a Gaiva fan. Yeah. I do. I love the Gaiva. Absolutely love the Gaiva. All right. So, uh, oh shit! Oh, oh Magneto one, of course. <sighs> Sleep tight. God, is that even uh, Captain America beat Thor? Yeah. Oh fuck you, all, <laughs> man! No, no, no! Didn't beat Thor. It's the uh, tie. Sorry. Tie. Tie. Oh, tie. Second. I got to see that. Yeah, twenty-six percent. Magneto is 48%. Oh, yeah. As I predicted, guys, thanks. If I would have put this on a rat tie and only poll, we would have actually had <laughs> common sense people uh, voting no. on this. <laughs> what are you and, talking about? Um, you know. Oh, man. Whatever. <laughs> Real Yo. collectors. Okay. <laughs> Real collectors. <laughs> exactly. Magneto is cooler than Thor. As a character, but like, um, he has like, like as statues, that Jewish heritage as well. Oh, but uh, I would, I would pick that four statue over Magneto all day, okay, every day of the week. No contest, no contest. All right, we are almost two and a half hours in, so I gotta go, I gotta go drive a fucking go kart back no, home no, no. now. We're driving <laughs> together, I'll drive <laughs> good, but uh. Yeah, maybe another 15 minutes and we are done. All right, uh, let's see. Show this. I've seen that. No, 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 no. And this is the latest one with the point. Money for your like big curvy screen and your big fucking carry camera the trash you
tips this next Oh. 